All right. Hello, everyone, and welcome to episode three of Geek Each Week. I am one of your hosts, Christopher Long from Long's Toys. I am joined, of course, by Rye. Hi. <laughs> Aerosol. Hey. Corey. Hello. And Josh, a.k.a. Josh. Uh, yes. <laughs> Every week. Can't forget. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Yeah, it's pretty. It's going pretty good. How's, uh, how's the chat doing? I uh, I see a new face, Toku Punk Productions. Welcome in. Oh, nice. Mm. Hello. Hello to everyone. Ray Korea, Power Rider, AGMC, Karyu Hiroken, uh, Reed Jones, and uh, I assume that's John. It's yeah, it's, duel. Yeah, it's John's duel. Yeah, John. Yeah. K the, the Red, Red Ninja. Ninja. Yep. All right. The ninth Red Ninja. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, cool. We want to do one ups. Nope, we want to do pickups. Right. Ah, yes, right. <laughs> okay, <laughs> uh -huh. uh, well, let me dog. Get this dumb file. Yeah, dog. Um, no, don't yo, Ranger Liz. What's up? On Bumblebee's what's up, Liz? head. I need that as a back pillow. Please stop. <laughs> uh, okay, so not a whole lot. Uh, going on. Glad we started this with week. Rye. Solid, yeah. <laughs> solid decision. <laughs> like I, the one who's still doing work. Have has anything happened this week? No, I got nothing in the mail. Has this week sucked that hard? It has, really. Um, I did get this precious boy thanks to my friend Kim. Oh, because uh, <laughs> I. So this came so, out. Like, Snorlax last doing week. his alien impression. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Take that as you will. <laughs> oh, wow! Or a floppy dog. Well, this okay. is it, is, right. it is. It is. It is floppy. Right. Uh, so that's yeah, definitely so, snore lax, not right. snore excited. Okay, right. <laughs> <laughs> like, couldn't they have put just a little? <laughs> like that that one one one. He's like, no, <laughs> make jokes. I'm He's out. done. Yeah, I'm that's done it. it. <laughs> I've had enough. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, yeah, this uh, went up like last week, and I didn't have money because uh, life sucks. But um, she bought this for me, and uh, I'm very thankful because it's now sold out. So, <laughs> <laughs> follow up question: What the fuck is that? It's Snorlax. I know, it's but what's about. happening to it? It's Gigantamax <laughs> Snorlax. Oh, is it? Okay, you can just say words and that somehow explains it. Okay, good. Yeah, Moving no. on. He's already big, so he got extra big, and yeah. now he's got like he, things he, living on him. He grew, he grew a park. He's an <laughs> island, and now he's good. Okay, interesting. Um, but yeah, I that's that's yeah, that's it. <laughs> okay, weird pillow thing. Got I, it. Okay. Um, let's see. I got my my Zelda Joy Cons arrived. They look great. Love those. Um, got a bunch of Marvel Legends. Got uh, Core Class Soundwave. I got the um, the Blu-ray with the Metsubo Jinrai key and the like faceplate thing for the Zero One driver that came today. Um, I feel like there were other things. Oh, I got the 55th anniversary uh, Guts Hyper key for Ultraman. How much did you pay for that? Uh, I don't know. I got it. I took collectibles, so whatever they're charging uh, for it. Because I've been looking at them on Bayi. I just was curious, like how much it compares. What are they going for on Bayi? Uh, the cheapest I saw one for today was like after you factor in like the fee, I think it was like twenty four dollars. Okay, I think it was like thirty something. I want to say. I might I might grab one on Bayi because I still got a bunch of shit over there. <laughs> Yeah, so do I. I haven't done anything from Bai in like <laughs> three or four months now. It's 40 at Togo Collectibles. 
I think it was like sixteen hundred yen. I want to say like the, like retailed for that. So okay, yeah. yeah, it was exclusive to the Ultraman store. Yeah, so you'd have to get someone to middleman for you. Um, there's probably some other stuff, and now I can't remember. Yeah, we'll just go with that. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> um so i got uh a new chair because like huh. yeah don't want to fall out of that one yeah <laughs> <laughs> we'll see uh to be determined but um we my parents found uh this this habitat for humanity location like basically businesses um you know donate a bunch of their stuff to Habitat for Humanity, and people just go there and buy it, and it's all, like, really cheap and really good, like, cheap in terms of price, but really good quality, like, stuff, and this was $25 for this nice computer chair, so. Nice. It's a good time, yeah. Um, cool. I also went to Joanne's Fabrics today uh, to pick up some brown fabric uh, to make little ponchos for my clone troopers nice. to turn them into the Hawkbat Battalion. So awesome. Now they look like chicken nuggets. It's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> well, I figured like, I, I kind of want a little variety in my, in my, uh, uh, my little army, but I also just don't want to mess with paint or anything on multiple figures. And I figured, you know, just, I made a tiny little, um, uh, template, cut it out. I learned uh, some sewing. My mom taught me a bit, little bit of sewing, and then I just put these together. So, yeah. Cool. I can only imagine what your mother's thinking. Oh, you want to sew? That's how grown up. Oh, for your toys. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, see, I got those. Hey, uh, Jones asks if we can get a trooper count. Trooper count. Current trooper count. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, Too many. 25. 25 right now. I honestly thought it'd be more. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about the fact that that's $200 worth of clone troopers? <laughs> well, actually, no, because these two were on clearance. I got them this week. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. $196. <laughs> Much better. Uh, I did not. This is astounding. I also did not count these scout troopers because they're technically the Imperial scout troopers, but if you want to count them, the 28. Uh, what about your stormtroopers? They're they're stormtroopers, but like the armor is pretty similar enough for me to like pretend that it's just the the clone scouts. Um, <clears throat> yeah, no, okay, I I'm meant done. I meant did you count your stormtroopers in your total? Oh, I did That's not. Just clones. I did not count okay. my stormtroopers. The, I have I have two stormtroopers. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey, it's my job. Jesus, all right. <laughs> so, I'm, I think I'm here right now. Obviously, the internet's not going to hold up, but we're going to just sure. try. So, I I apologize for last week. It's just not it's not good. But why is aerosol? <laughs> why is why aerosol? Is Whoa. Why? Everything's why falling is apart already. Son of a bitch. <laughs> My identity. <laughs> but uh yeah, so I, I am I, um... Bumblebee. <laughs> Wait, hold on. I wonder who I am. I... <laughs> He's infecting all of them. <laughs> oh, I'm still fine. I managed to hold out. Uh, what am I now? Oh, okay. Oh, you're fine. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, I don't want to drop any of these. So I forgot to show these off last week, but I got a bunch of duplicate uh, Jimba Chronicle Gimes. Oh, um, nice. so I like, completely forgot to show that off. So this one was like, this is the last one. I don't understand why this one didn't come in its box, but it doesn't really matter. <laughs> but yeah, so that that, there is, he goes. I was back. Oh, yep, yeah. that, that that's enough. <laughs> so the dude opened the box and was like. Man, all right. I'm definitely gonna have a full collection of these Jimba forms. <laughs> well, am I really? Right. You know what? I'll just sell them. And then you got them. 
I did. And then they threw in this little bonuses, uh, this little gold Deno figure and uh, Gates figure. So that's cool. Nice. And then also a bunch of these movie poster flyers. Um, so like the Saber and Zero One film thing. Uh, and the Mitsubo Jinrai film. So nice. I think that was all there was. Oh, and another one for the notes of a Jim Rye film, but it's like a different one. Oh. So, yeah. So that was pretty nice. Um, I got this little friend from Two Collectibles. Oh, yes. I also got that. <laughs> so, <laughs> it sounds like a truck. It, right? So here's the little Zenkaiju gear. It will go off again in a second here because I just bumped it. But yeah, here he is. So we'll put him off to the side. And then after, yep, there it is. After a couple of days of uh, delays from DHL, I did get my spark. Hey, there it is. So this thing is, uh, this thing's pretty Ooh. nice. Oh, that's a good click. It is. It's good. And then I got with it. Obviously, it came with the trigger multi-type key, but then I also got the T guy multi-type and the uh, trigger power type. So. Hmm. So that, that is that. And then... Let's see here. I don't want to drop any of these either. This past week, Corey put up a sales thread. I did. You should check it out. <laughs> <laughs> and I bought the swap mode SPD figures from him. <laughs> so, oh, yeah. <laughs> so there they are. All seven of them. Uh, no weapons, something... no batteries. It's all. <laughs> but it, yeah. <laughs> but it, that's fine. Yeah. So, although I wonder, I wonder if they still work or not. They might. I don't know. I yeah. didn't test them when I got them, and I figure getting a bunch <laughs> of what LR forty fours that's going to be kind of oh, I know daunting. Maybe I'll take them out of a ride watch or something and give it a shot. But yeah, just but yeah. be aware so... of corrosion. I don't know. Yeah, it, yeah. I mean, these are what sixteen-year-old figures. <laughs> so, <they're probably> not gonna, <laughs> yeah. so, but um, yeah. Not only did I want like the core five, obviously, but I really like the toy exclusive uh, Omega and Shadow swats. Mm. So, so thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you for buying them. Yeah. Um, and then today, uh, I had kind of my annual shopping trip thing where I go to like. A local flea market and a couple of different stores and stuff. Uh, <laughs> I so. like the idea that Josh would only shop once a year. <laughs> <laughs> well, you yeah. shopping. Yeah. But yeah, so I picked up the last couple trades that I still needed uh, to be all caught up on all of these. So I got Go Go Volume 8 and then Power or Mighty Morphin and Power Rangers Volume 1. So I got those. Um, and then I got the last things I got this week. Were from a local like toy store, like uh, like vintage toy store that I that's near me. They had the original Red Dragon Thunderzord. Oh, so nice. I mean, it's a little bit beat up on stickers and stuff, but it, I I'm pretty sure it's fully complete. There's oh, <laughs> <laughs> this is one clock falls off. There goes that. But uh, the the staff weapon is uh, right here, so it even has that and everything. So. Good. This he has was... a longer one for later. Just to <laughs> you know, you right. have the head mistransformed. Oh, I, well, that's yeah, that's how it was on the like. Oh, okay. On the display, I just I just got home like three hours ago, so oh. I haven't like messed around with it really. But yeah, this is uh, this is a and... sad version. Yeah, this is a sad version. <laughs> <laughs> the piece on the back as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's definitely I I don't know. Who just hanging there it, dejectedly, just not, it on the back. It's not accurate. <laughs> so sad. But, yeah, so this was what was this twenty five? I thought it wasn't too oh, horrible. Okay, yeah. So you know, just be careful because those arms are known to break. Yeah, yeah. Mine so finally I... did a couple years ago. Oh really? That's a shame. I just but put I also... the, uh, you know, when you transform it, the black arm from the lion just like goes over top of it and the shoulder oh, clips yeah, up. Yeah. So I just like mashed it on there, put the black thing over top, and close it <laughs> like that. I'll, I'll keep it on there. <laughs> right. <laughs> no one will know. <laughs> And then the the last things I got from them were they had just these little like figures. Uh -huh. 
these were like five bucks a piece. I thought they were just kind of fun. How tall are so, those? Uh, they're like two and a half inches, probably. Well, if they don't drop it's a it. mission fleet size. They oh, are. Man. Let's figure this out. He's got a tape measure and everything. Yeah, they're they're like yeah, like two and a half, about oh, three, wow, yeah. three. Yeah. So yeah. So that's pretty cool. I had a bunch of those when I mean I still have them, but when I was a kid, yeah. that was the ones I bought instead of the uh, most of the like normal size figures. Oh, yeah, nice. that's like the eight inch ones or whatever. But uh, yeah, so that's that's basically everything that arrived this week. Uh, the Pink Ranger helmet arrived, so yay. That was seconds of fun. Um, <laughs> especially since it doesn't fit me. <laughs> oh, it doesn't? No. They made it smaller than the other two. Oh. Uh, I assume because it's supposed to be a female helmet. I have no idea. But they, they like... So it, it, it would fit so, like, inside there's, like, that headgear piece that they have sure. inside. And they, like, made that narrower than the other two. Uh -huh. So, if you, like, unscrew... I think there's, like, four screws holding it in. Mm -hmm. So, like, if you took that out, I could probably just, like, cl close it and just rest it on my head, and I'm sure it would fit fine. Sure. But, like, wearing it how it's, like, supposed to be worn, it w does not work. Huh. <laughs> so... That sucks. Yeah. So I didn't bother like trying to unscrew it or anything like that because it's just like I'm just gonna end up putting it back in there and putting it on display anyway. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I'm looking up at it right now. I mean, it looks really nice. I have it sitting next to the other two helmets, but yeah, it's a little smaller. But um, I think I think that's everything this week. So it was relatively solid, but I'm just tired. So. <laughs> <laughs> Well, all right. Um, we have news to talk about today. Uh, and Josh put together this very nice PowerPoint, as he typically does. Uh, and here, right now, is what it looks like. Oh, it's doing it. <laughs> Real quick, uh, John in the chat asked if we got charged for stuff from HLJ. I did not get charged for anything today. I got the sky type key on Wednesday. But I did not get charged oh, yeah. for the figures. I'm assuming it is because of the Olympics. They're probably closed. So. I, I, I'm so happy that I just happened to look at HLJ the other day and saw that they had one Sky Type key left. And I was like, oh, good. I needed that. <laughs> so, uh, and then I went back to the page after order, and it was like, this item is gone. We don't know if we'll ever get it back. <laughs> <laughs> so, what? It's never coming back. Uh, but you know, sky what's type more like buy type. <laughs> well, hey, hey, <laughs> oh no, you're experiencing a lot of traffic today. When submitting payment, please do not mash the button multiple times or reload the page. Be patient and wait a few minutes before trying again. We apologize for the inconvenience. God damn it, why would. <laughs> I can only imagine people trying to buy stuff from Bluefin where they're just like, uh, why did I get charged for this Goku eight times? <laughs> you wanted eight Goku, right? <laughs> right? Right. Correct. Yes. This was P Bandai, though, wasn't it? Yeah. P Bandai uh, US. Same. same but yeah. Thing. Don't know why they decided to like keep tweeting it out in like a <laughs> like. It, 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 was it just means a big that chain. somebody <laughs> deliberately went down into the thread, hit add to thread, and then posted it again. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's that's not a manual thing. Please do not mash thing, the button it? when hitting tweet. <laughs> <laughs> Please listen to your own advice. Thank it you. Was very, it was very odd. But yeah. Anyway, so that <laughs> I'm glad this is here. <laughs> Figured it was important. So. Yeah, oh, very yeah. important. Uh, um, it's almost like yeah. cloud not found the clock. Right. Yeah, it is, yeah. All right. Uh, next up, Disney. Yeah, I wanted yeah. to talk about these. Okay. Okay, yeah. Is this what I think it is? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, so this is Mirrorverse. It's apparently a mobile game uh, coming out soon. Um, but uh, McFarlane is making toys uh, for it, 
Nice. Mm. And I thought they were really cool. There's five inch ones and seven inch ones. It's very much sort of like the the Fortnite approach where there's like mm -hmm. they I mean they don't go down to like four inch scale like Fortnite does. It's supposed to be five and seven, but mm -hmm. uh still these are a mix of them actually. <laughs> um Jack and Buzz are the seven inch ones, and then uh Sully, Mickey uh what were the other goofy. two? Oh yeah there were, i did forget to put the osu in there because there were Go some pictures of them at the time so. was it goofy and bell yeah, yeah bell. that sounds yeah. right okay so those are like the first wave of the five and seven inch i just thought they looked really cool the buzz was the first one i saw and it looked really neat yeah, yeah. um it's he's so like, gonna murder you yeah, yeah. Is <laughs> he, he is he's real pissed he is pissed He's going back to scary. Monsters Inc. is running on on fear again. Not fear, like blood. Speaking of Monsters Inc., have any of you guys watched that new show on Disney Plus? I don't have time in my life. That's fair. It's it's pretty cute. I think it's fun. Okay. All right. I was thinking about checking it out. I like how all of these are stylized, and then you get to like Jack Sparrow, and it's just like I'm a pirate. <laughs> yeah. Like, okay. Yeah. With a lightning my collection own, skeletal. Effect piece. Yeah, he's got he's got a lightning collection of piece. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I don't know retail price on these. Um, mm. probably like twelve and twenty if I had to take a guess. That sounds, but... Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. It's always yeah. a chunk. He's gonna probably be more. <laughs> I just thought they were cool. So. Yeah, yeah, they're neat. Yeah, these are awesome. I, I'm glad McFarlane's getting a lot more to do. Yeah, they like get these licenses and just like go nuts. Yeah, they got the uh, Avatar Last Airbender license too. Yeah, those I are saw that good. too. I've still they're never good. watched that show, but uh, the figures. Ah, damn it! <laughs> oh, the show's so good, Chris. I only I'm gonna watch the M Night Shyamalan. <laughs> <laughs> That, that was a good starting place. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah you know. I can't even you get really it out with a straight it. face. <laughs> well, all right. Cool. Uh, Are we good here? Yeah. All right. Next up. Oh, this is another Disney thing. It's Star Wars. Nope, copyright. <laughs> 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 All it right. has to be like oh. somewhat close music like before we just discuss these so we're at the point now where Hasbro's just putting pre-orders up like this like, yeah there were no this. pictures whatsoever I was like, this and is they come suspect. out the pre-orders are for like what was it March 2022 the fuck? So, so people this were saying some, like premium Bandai level pre-order right. shit People were saying that like they couldn't even pre-order because their card would expire by then. So, like, <laughs> Damn! <laughs> it's insane. Yeah, they, they, it was Walmart, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh wow. Yeah, yeah, they said Walmart wouldn't let them pre-order because the card they were trying to use expired before they released it, <laughs> and they had no other card to use. Oh, <laughs> like. I but mean, also, these, these, cool these exist, but like Hasbro, why is it so far? I mean, <laughs> is it cool that these exist? Because we don't know what they look like. Yeah, if they're really just the old toys, because when they did the vintage collection ones, they did have pictures for. I was talking about it with Corey. Yeah. I'm like, these look like just figures they've done before, but now on a card that has like an animation still from that show. Yeah, here they are right here. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, they don't look particularly stylized like that animation. If they made, like back in the day, they made figures. Of that animation, you know what I mean. Yeah, We've I talked about them before. Even if it was just reissuing those, I would be happier. Yeah. yeah. But like these are just vintage collection figures that they just were like, here, we'll slap it in this packaging, I mean, we'll put that art in the background, and it, you're good unless to go. they're going to make the Black Series ones like in that style of packaging, like they have done with like that Clone Wars wave earlier this year and stuff like right. that. Or... That's what I'm worried about. So yeah. like, there, yeah. there is a Grievous and a Mace Windu that have been out for a while now. So if it's yeah. literally just those figures in a box, we you know with new packaging, Oops. I don't really care. Like, but I can't yeah. tell from these pictures. So if you're <laughs> making a toy of, of how Grievous looks there, then I want it. But if you're not, so I didn't, I didn't pre-order them because I, I got the clone because I was like, well, clones look the same pretty much regardless. Like, they're not super stylized. Yeah. But I was like, you know, Windu and, and Grievous, I'm going to have to wait and see. And right. I'm sure by then it'll be too late, but we'll see. 
Also, they keep calling him, I think, clone, arc clone captain or arc clone something. Yeah, arc clone something. something. But like his name's Fordo. I don't, I don't know why <laughs> they didn't just say his name. Same with this one. Know. They didn't call him Fordo. <laughs> I'm upset. No, listen. Uh, Fordo was the guy that had to take the ring to Mordor. Okay, that's not this guy. <laughs> that's somebody different. Also, this blue dude, he doesn't have the right gun. Ah, nice. So yeah, it's just a sad repaint. Like it's just yeah, a straight okay. up repaint of the red one. I, I will and... say though, like at least the belt is is a good color. Like it is different in the the show for whatever reason. So at least that is hmm. accurate. I guess. I mean, you could give him a gun from somebody else. I'm sure you got plenty of guns, but... Yeah. Well, the art troopers in this special had a special gun, so... It wasn't just the normal long rifle? No, it was, It was like, it was specifically like an arc rifle or something. Oh, well, that's why it's not here. Yeah, well... <laughs> <laughs> mold? I don't think so. We could mold this new thing, but money is good, so... <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> um... But hey, speaking of Black Series, yes. Carbonized is back. I bought these. Yeah, Target exclusives. Everyone's favorites. They were really easy. They went up at 9. The link worked right away. I put them in the cart, and they even had a deal that was like save $10 on $50 or more. Oh, no problem. Oh, well, there, so you like, there you go. Because see, I have all the rest of them so far. And so... <laughs> The these completionist ones. in me is like, I can't not buy these because I have all these already. Are these the uh, are these the first carbonized and like the new style package? Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Yeah. The packaging won't match because these are the old box kind. But right. so what else is different about these? Is it shiny? They have like a metallic finish, yeah. Oh okay. I, I don't remember if they had released did they release like a Scout Trooper and Short Trooper for like man, like specifically Mandalorian before? I don't remember if they had all of these figures have been released before, yeah. But as Mandalorian figures, or just as I believe so, yeah. Oh, okay. Well, the original uh, buff Mandalorian dude there didn't have like a name before. He was just like the heavy art, whatever it was, Mandalorian Gundam. Uh, I mean, yes, oh. Gundam. Heavy art. Maybe he has a different name or whatever. But yeah, my favorite Star Wars yeah. character. Yeah, and my favorite comic book. Yeah. <laughs> right, he yeah, gets around. I had no idea this guy was a Vizsla. Apparently. Does this load these nuts? <laughs> okay. 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 All right. Cool. This um, <laughs> these nuts. Yes, yeah, so these come we'll out. Change the name of the episode. Of that. <laughs> <laughs> we wanted to. I'm not opposed. <laughs> wow. Okay. Uh, so. um, all right. Cool. Yeah. Hell yeah. Hey, Mission Fleet! Hell yeah! Um, <laughs> this is, this is just again? here to say the Amazon order link uh, is up for the Bad Batch 4-pack and the Walmart link. Oh, is, is it? Up. Send yeah. that to me. I bought the other one from Walmart. So okay. send me. Yeah. Is it live or is it pre-order? It's live and it says in stock soon, but you could add it to cart and order it. Alright, yeah. Oh, send nice. me the Bad Batch one immediately, please. Okay. Um, and then also... Uh, the blurg with original Mando and Remnant Stormtrooper, which I'm still kind of miffed about the Remnant Trooper, because like, I like troopers, but now you are specifically making this one dirtier than all the rest that I have. <laughs> and you He's put a dirty a, boy. You put a regular-ass trooper in, in the Mandalorian pack, so why not just make that one a Remnant Trooper, too? I don't so, know. Yeah, I see that Hasbro For has done the same thing variety. with Mission Fleet here as they did with Black Series with the Remnant Stormtrooper just releasing another figure with a little bit of dirt on him. Yeah. I just like that we're getting the regular Mando because they've done nothing but the Beskar armor. Yeah, that's Mando cool. I know, yeah. Now. That's cool. Um, I don't even think... Yeah, he. it's accurate, but I don't think he comes with the, uh, the jet pack either, so I guess that makes sense. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Alright, cool. Cool. Next up, Sentai news. What do we got? Seriously, send me that link. Yeah, I'm. I'm looking right now. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we have the brand new cross armor uh, for Gokai Red and and Blue. 
Uh, obviously, blues is a little <laughs> less than my red gets. <laughs> um, but so we, we we know that the well, we knew that the Gokai Galleon key was going to do something like this. Uh, and well, we didn't know what it was going to look like, or like when you put it into the Mobirts. Apparently, it's just going to make another Gokaidra logo on the Mobirts. <laughs> yes. So we heard you like Mobirts. So yeah. We're going to put a Mobirts on top of your Mobirts. Well, so like in this position, it does kind of look like. You know, you know how it does the X X X. Oh B. yeah, 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 yeah. It does kind of look yeah, that way. I see that. Yeah. Oh, so you're saying this is triple X? Yes. That's, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> That's exactly it. <laughs> yeah. A new direction for Sentai, but okay. Yeah, yeah. Actually, I guess it's not because we already have that other one. That's oh uh, very King <laughs> Key. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well done. See, yeah. I was th I was thinking Triple X, the, the movie. The movie. Oh, Vin Diesel? <laughs> oh, Vin Diesel's going to be in the superhero title? Let's do it. <laughs> he has to only go with the Magi Ranger, though, because it's all about family. <laughs> right, right. <yeah. laughs> so, but yeah, I mean, the key looks cool. Um, it's not definitely not exactly what I was expecting it to do, but it's, it's neat. Um, yeah. And in the armor... Um, I mean, Joe's is obviously just cool. He gets some swords, but yeah. <laughs> Joe's cool. <laughs> He's so dreamy. It's, it's so weird to me because, like, looking at it, I want to flip it around so it looks like a claw. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're supposed to be swords, but they're really fucking stubby. Yeah, it's <laughs> weird. <laughs> so it's a DX toy from Bandai. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. The, the whole thing uh, is weird, but... Gokai Red's like ship armor is pretty dope. That's yeah, cool. yeah, like that's that's really cool looking, especially yeah. since like you know, TK last year had his whole thing <laughs> where he got a power up after you know ten years, and it wasn't it wasn't spectacular. Well, let me and tell you, this this is genuinely like I would have liked to see this in the show. This was this is a cool looking yeah, armor. Yeah. What what you don't see right now is that when you move the cape, there are just, just ranger keys lined up <laughs> just, on the inside. Just yes. tape to it. Just like yeah, yeah. Yeah. He's gonna have all the keys just all over his body. Uh -huh. Yeah. But they're all gash upon ones, so all the chests are peeling. Uh, <laughs> that makes sense. But yeah, yeah, I like it a lot. Um we got like a little teaser. Like, like really like a small little teaser trailer uh, that just was, you know, a couple of shots from the film. Um, but yeah, I, I assume that the other three of the core team are going to get some kind of little armor upgrades because it looks like they're all going to have some kind of upgrade corresponding to like where their Zord goes on Gokaio. Hmm. So I imagine that uh, like green would have some kind of maybe like a gun arm or something. There's giant wheels all over them. Yeah. Just driving around. So, yeah, I like cool. it. All right, yeah. So this is cool. Next up. Ooh, soda pop. Mini size. Uh, so. I told uh, you it's eight ounce. You're supposed to change to eight ounce. <laughs> I didn't. This is not up to me. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. So first up, we have our. First looks at Udo 2. Yeah, I should have pre-ordered this. I'm a fool. This gorgeous <laughs> set. This, this perfect lineup. It's it's exactly what we wanted. Like, every single aspect of it. Is that an effect piece on the Geardlinger with... Yeah. Uh, can that unplug? or? I have no idea. Probably I not. would imagine probably not, but it's cool that it's there. It's almost like it's a blade as well. So yeah. Yeah. Thing yeah. Going we on. did that in this, this show. Oh, did he? It's yeah. been so long since I watched it. Yeah. Um, yeah, this this is so good. So uh basically you're getting uh Zen Kaiser in his brand new form, uh regular two Kaiser, and then you're getting three armor sets for all of two Kaiser's forms. Um you're getting a single minion, you're getting um Stay Caesar. Stay Caesar. Uh, and then also you're getting uh, Zenkai Red, which blew me away. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, 
So oh, yeah, man. that's just so good. And like the the two Kaiser is more accurate here than it is on the change hero. I am a fool. <laughs> <laughs> Since you can actually swap the helmets with the numbers and stuff like that, and yeah. the uh, the little chest symbols. So. Oh, I didn't even realize that. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. More stickers. So yeah, yeah, there is that, but. And obviously, oh. Change Hero doesn't look to be doing anything else in this set. So yeah, they gave up. Change Hero's like, we're done. We're going to go hang out with RKF. <laughs> but these, you know, these, <laughs> these perfectly scale, and yeah. uh, they're going to they're look good. So, And, like, there is a possibility. It probably won't happen this way, but there's a possibility that you will get everything you need in a single box because it's a box of 12. There are nine different pieces here. So there are three extras, three of which hopefully are two Kaiser that you can turn into the forms. But if I had to guess, it's probably just one more two Kaiser and then super another. Super Kaiser. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, or maybe extra minions would be nice. That's not, that's yeah, definitely that not going to be happening. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I can do But yeah. Um, yeah, this is this is such a good set. This uh, this actually dropped during our recording of Soto Pop, so yeah, whenever that, that episode goes up, you'll get to see our reactions. It was, oh, <laughs> man, it was a good time. Is it that as good fun. as the Ranger Keys and Josh? Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, this is cool. Um, next up. Oh, also, it got pushed by a month. I don't know if you noticed that. Oh, I did not. Okay. So it was cool. supposed to come out in September. Now it's in October. Oh, that's fine. So I can wait. So two Kaiser can go trick or treating as any of these three things. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> also, it's it's kind of been rumored that Zenkai Red might like come to the show, um, mm. sometime around that time frame. Maybe have something to do with the final mecha. So that could be a potential okay. reason as to why the set got delayed and also why he's in it. So. Cool. Cool. Either way, I'm happy. All right. Hey, look, Saber's back. Uh, Jesus Christ with the shirt. <laughs> I think these are pretty amazing accessory sets. They are so out of ideas. They're just like, what can we? Saber's so dull. What can we put in this box? Just make a bunch of extra shit. Throw it in a box. All right. Go I ahead. mean, Chris, oh. you didn't. You weren't clamoring for the Saber Zero One and Gaim logos. No, <laughs> surprisingly, no. I was not. Well, <laughs> What about uh, Slash's, like, metal hands? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right? Well, everybody in the surveys were really clamoring for uh, the extra heads that they had never done, which are accurate to the they, show. Everyone in the survey just wanted to get a head. Yeah, that's, that's true. true. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, no, you're only going to be able to get mostly so half of the head. <laughs> and then the back half... Uh, yeah, you have to pick. You can only form one complete head at a time. Well, yeah. And That's then... not satisfying at all. <laughs> no, 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 no. What? How does it work? So, so you see, like, there's get... one back piece up there, like, like, in between the two saber heads up at the top. Yeah. So you get one of those, and then you get, I think, one, although the picture kind of looks like there's two, of the oh. little, like, blade, like, sticks two. out of his head. Okay, so you get two of that. But they're different. Ah, right. Because one's for Hawk, and then the other one's for the rest. That's right. Yeah. Oh, okay. But, yeah. So, if you want to display all of those, if you're if, if you're that crazy, uh, you can <laughs> buy that set like a million times. <laughs> what is the What is the I little black piece though? The it's That's just the like, back of his head. Yeah, it's just the back of the head. Yeah. Oh, you, it's the back of his you head. Swap <laughs> out the, you swap out the like the front face plate. With gotcha. Saber for I didn't realize what that was. Okay, yeah. gotcha, gotcha. Oh, you know, something I didn't notice until now is that some of the uh, extra belts you're getting, they have hinge pieces for what I assume are front skirts for whatever forms. Oh, oh yeah. is that what the yeah. piece hanging down is? I was yeah, just going to ask that. Makes sense. I yeah, think, I think that, yeah, that'd right. be for like Eagle and Hedgehog and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and well, also, yeah, because it's anytime there's a book in the middle, it does it. Yeah. Also, right. Eagle, Hedgehog, Peter, right? Is that the order? Yes, Peter? yes, yes. Peter? Okay. Um, Peter? That has specific shins uh, because those were never done for, for Soto. But, like, you need those specifically for that triple. Point. So that's what those little yellow pieces are there yeah. to, above yeah. the stand. Mm -hmm. And then above that is a little holding hand where he's holding out a ride book to, like, scan it on the sword. Yeah. Because and literally... Everything was thought of for this. For That's these what I'm saying. 
And we'll throw a stand in too because this isn't enough. <laughs> yeah. And, oh yeah, you get a stand sticker for every single saber combination yeah. in here as well. So there's like seven stand stickers in this box. Mm -hmm. Good lord with this shit. And the hand, uh, the the it's insane. the ride book uh, will not come with stickers. So you could just pretend it's whatever ride book you want. Uh, so that's I mean that's so just what, what I've been doing anyway. So what are the one the ride book stickers for them? For Those the belt. The belt. For because you get a closed like yeah. books in the belt and an open books in the belt. I'll blow it out your ass. Move on. <laughs> <laughs> I have to choose, which means there'll be stickers left over. What I really want to do is I just want to make uh, you know the combos that we already have, so that'd be perfect. Making this set completely useless. <laughs> I mean, I don't mind like one with the sword and the driver. Like that's okay. That's fine. Mm -hmm. Now, is the one on the top left? Is that actually painted? No. <laughs> no. Why do they bother to show that? Like the one right. Oh, I guess it's one these, these are these are all, everything with the default stickers, huh? Oh, I'm um, wondering. I, does it only come with one set of stickers? It probably does. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, no, it does. Oh, that would. Oh no, that's the same thing for the next cost set. saving yeah. measures, baby. Yeah. Oh my god. Let's like, give you all the different book combinations and nine different things to put the books on, I, but only one set of stickers for the, the hilt of the sword. That makes they sense. They expect you to buy these two boxes like ten times. Let's go. Well, so, I'm buying them zero times. So, <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm still excited for this accessory set because of well, this. You're a fool, sir. No, <laughs> <laughs> I am. Thank you. Uh, but you are getting extra um, sword drivers for... Uh, Blades and Espada. Uh, we are finally getting um, uh, uh, Slash's sword in gun mode, uh, and they've been they they were talking about that a while ago, saying yeah, it's it's not here yet, but don't worry, just be patient, and we'll have it. And they have it. Um, I did not expect the rock hands; those are a lot of fun, uh, yeah. and those will be the primary display. Uh, for my <laughs> um, also, hey, yeah, well, Adam Prime says, what about the Trident? Isn't the Trident supposed to be here, too? No. Not, the not Trident, here, not so, um... The Trident will be during is, Revice Squad, probably. <laughs> yeah. This is all Book 9, and Durandal came out in Book 9, and they said, hey, yeah. we didn't do the Trident yet because we didn't know but, what yeah. it looked like. They, so they basically they said a similar to... thing this past week, kind of, where they said that, hey, we know Solomon's a thing, but he's not going to be ready for a minute, so don't expect yeah. him soon. Yeah. But so that's but they are going to do it, obviously. But mm -hmm. probably during revise, I would imagine. Yeah. Also, sword hilts. Uh, I like yeah. those. Those are always great. So I'm happy to have those. Also, the 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 <laughs> the um, shields are finally here. Uh, we were told earlier that those were those were another thing that they were gonna do as well, so I'm just happy they exist. And then the um, the logo stands, um, missing uh, uh, Ryuki though. I was gonna say yeah, because I remember them showing the sticker for that one. Did they? I thought they did. Maybe they did. I don't know. Oh. I could be making that up, but I don't remember. Yeah, Ryuki's missing. Uh, but this is this is from that time they did it for over Quartzer, uh, and they had the logos behind them, so they Which wanted. Makes to sense for Gaim, but it doesn't make sense for Zero One and Saber. But you know, I mean, I figure, you know, they might. Yeah, I mean, it's have funny. A it's logo funny. Stand yeah. Anyway, how hard can that possibly be to make? Oh, exactly. So. And it, it, this is. Kind of the cheaper version of the premium band. Honestly, bands. how hard would they even be for like you know anyone to just make if you really wanted it? Oh, for real. No, I agree. I agree. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I like these sets. This is a good time yeah. for me, and it's a good time for a lot of the the Soto fans and the surveys who are really wanting all the uh, in between the bands. Yep, and that's the uh, end of book nine. So. Yeah, I forgot my other one up. Uh oh, yeah. yeah. What is it? Make me big. <laughs> <laughs> Make our shiki grow. There you go. I got a shiny Snorlax and Pokemon Go over the weekend. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
He is my best friend. <laughs> That's all. I'm so happy for okay. you. Yeah, that congratulations to the both of you. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, what's next? Common Rider news. Oh, we got books. We got so books. I know we aren't putting like every gimmick release of stuff in here anymore, but I figured that this was just somewhat noteworthy because they actually did not bother to sell us the gold repaint of the Arthur sword. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> um, My prayers so have been answered. I thought that was actually pretty surprising because, like, yeah. I mean, no one wanted that, but <laughs> but, but we in not. theory, they could have done it really easily. But to um, check this out: Toei typically or Bandai typically wants more money. That's true. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I'm just kind of surprised they either didn't just force it in here or like at least make it like an option, mm. you know. Uh, but yeah, this, you know, you get Solomon and Storius's books, and they share the same belt. So yeah, but yeah, I mean, they also share the same book mold. They're just different like sounds and stuff like that. But mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, if you were waiting for those to exist, they they will now. So right. cool. Okay, next up. Hey, it's hmm. Revice. Who's this guy? Uh, ah, this is the red, first red. I am seeing of him. He's lovely. Wow, crazy. <laughs> <laughs> what a what a wonderful design. I'm sorry. Yeah. But... <laughs> oh, I love it. I, I love yeah. both of them. I love yeah. this orange and green boy. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it, people. People can't. I don't, I don't. I don't understand. I was orange and green. <laughs> the fuck I mean, is wrong with you? Obviously, he's yellow and purple. I mean, yeah. I don't... <laughs> that's, that's even further. <laughs> oh, he's a uh, I mean, I could maybe see an argument that like the blue looks kind of greenish. But, like, I'm not seeing the orange. Pink. It's I'm not seeing the orange at all. Yeah. But, yeah. The, because the green, the green, the blue is kind of like a tealish. So yeah, yeah, like right, yeah. it is close. I, I feel like if you hit this with a significant like thing of yellow, like just a yellow filter over it, it might have a uh, an orange. We just green. need an action figure to finally settle what color is this guy. Wait, no, we don't. We can see with our eyes, Josh. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> don't feed this. <laughs> Also, but, uh, me being my intelligent self put out like, a, oh, look, he's transcribed colored because he is and it's lovely and it makes me happy. Um, but man, those are exercises in the block button, aren't they? Uh, so, <laughs> that is uh, a treat. You start weeding out the bad seeds really fast. <laughs> They're just colors, you fucking moron. Okay, block. <laughs> oh, man. That was a yeah, that was a fun three days while that tweet went nuts. Three days, oh my <laughs> god! I Jeez. um, there there are other pictures. There are like full body pictures of this. Yeah. Um, which which did show I I didn't expect Revice to be as blue as he is. Mm -hmm. Um, there is a lot more blue there than I expected. Mm -hmm. Um, which is cool. Blue colored. Writers are not typically like mean writers. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like it's my oh. favorite shade of blue too, like a turquoise teal color. Yeah, yeah and nice. so like I'm super happy about that choice. What a yeah. what a good lad. Yeah, it's just also, interesting, like how we got the final confirmation of how neither of these guys are named Revice. Yeah, I was just gonna say. <laughs> also, I called him Revice. That's actually Revy. That's true, yeah. <laughs> So I mean, obviously, I feel like it's almost a guarantee that like the fuse for the final form would now be called Revice. Oh yeah, um, that'd be cool. Especially because we, we, we joked about how this is basically just Rube. Yeah, <laughs> and also yes. like it's, you know like. Which, uh, by the way, the, I have to tell this. So we were talking about it, and Shik's like, "Oh, they'll you know it's just like Rube, and then they'll have a third person, and then it'll be like Grievice." <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, "Oh, General Grievice, I'm a huge fan of this." Yeah. <laughs> To my collection, <laughs> perfect. <laughs> I mean, it, I, yeah, it wouldn't surprise me if like that's what they do for like the final form, and it's like you know basically just a fusion of these two base forms because that's kind of what they've been doing with you know Rewa final forms being relatively simple. Yeah. So, but yeah. I also like I 
I keep remembering, um, like, echoes of that that quote that decayed. Uh, some decayed said during the the wizard crossover, where like the main thing about Ryder is that they take the the powers from. Oh yeah, yeah. Good, and this is exactly that. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's cool. Yeah, yeah. Um, the uh, the synopsis here. Which you can read for yourselves. I don't think it was very interesting reading. It. Uh, it it definitely gives me vibes of like um, there's a little bit of wizard in there with the like things oh, yeah. inside of people. I think Chris mentioned the other night there's like some Deno vibe. Oh, for sure. There. Yeah. Um, it, there's a little bit of like O's in there with like it leeching off of people's vices mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. um sort of their desires and whatnot mm -hmm. uh that's it it all sounds really cool mm -hmm. it's written by someone who has never written toku before yeah, yeah. That, that like um, knock on wood that's usually a good sign yeah honestly yeah. <laughs> it's pretty good so we got guy yeah. and i think we got build from that, that um scenario. fresh yeah, out. okay i'm down <laughs> so but, like yeah. the the guy that's yeah. writing like has hasn't even done a whole lot of television. He's mostly a novelist. Oh, interesting. Uh, yeah, Toma. I, Toma's writing this series. Yeah, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I was I was looking up just a little bit earlier what he's done, and it's a pretty short list. There's not yeah. hmm. there's not a lot of anime or you know usually they pull in maybe from the anime crowd to yeah, yeah. to do this, but it's it's not a lot of that maybe a little bit of television like you said but it's it's mostly like novels and yeah um interesting mm -hmm. i think that would be, yeah. uh, that'd be cool to yeah. see could be could be different yeah hopefully it doesn't suck yeah. <laughs> that's, that's the dream right? yeah. so what's uh, <laughs> i find pretty interesting about this is that so revice has been all right well i'm just gonna say it. revice has been like uh fully you know officially revealed at this point now uh, because they apparently attached a, I think it was like 20 minute, almost half hour long little mini movie uh, to debut him at the end of Superhero Senki oh, uh, okay. in, in theaters. So basically, like, it's a very long, it's basically like an entire episode length post credit scene. <laughs> uh, so apparently, in that, uh, which I don't think. Fuck really you, seen, Marvel, put a whole episode at the end of our movie. <laughs> apparently, it shows like some of the villains it shows the different form changes that haven't leaked out picture wise yet so um wild but, wild yeah. that it has not i know <laughs> i mean someone, yeah. someone drew like a sketch of one of them so the i think it was the yeah that'll help no i know I, it was uh i forget exactly i just pictured someone in the movie theater in the dark <laughs> frantically sketching <laughs> I didn't finish his legs. Yeah. Like you, it looked like there was just a here in the back. Here, Mickey. <laughs> <laughs> the, the people that usually are like, hold on, I'll sketch it, are the people that can't sketch. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, yeah there's there's like one it's just stick small... figures. Here he is. There's a second floor. <laughs> <laughs> there was one small clip that leaked out of like the henshin sequence. Um, but uh, yeah, so one of the forms is like I think it was the one of the shark forms or something. Yeah, it, the Megalodon is, one? Yeah, yeah, that one. Uh, it's basically decayed. Um, so what? it has, like, bark. It has, like, the barcode stuff, like, oh. uh, and, like, the cross on the chest and everything. It's pink. Wait, um, wait. So is, is it confirmed that it is Anniversary Riders as... More or less, yes, because oh, you, cool. you you look what? at this you look at this like sketch of it, and if it's accurate, then it's it's just decayed. Uh, okay. <laughs> As... Well, I'll I'll wait to see what <laughs> yeah your Someone sketch guy will see. Well, I, we did see that one leaked picture of that stamp a couple weeks ago, which was mm -hmm. for that one that had like the barcode design with like the green and the pink helmet. Oh, okay, uh, and so that was already <laughs> kind of screaming decayed already. So, but is it is it like? Mixed with an animal, or is it just the case? I'm not a hundred percent sure, but okay. well, it's, but yeah. it's, a, it's supposed to be a megalodon with the kid. Yeah, they're all supposed to be. Wow, yep, a uh, megalodon. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't have time for mute buttons around here. Um, but yeah, it's supposed to be like an animal mixed with a, a rider. A legend rider, yeah. Okay, I wonder what decayed's vice is for. Vice to transform into. Yeah. It's just Yusuke. 
<laughs> I mean, that'd be cool. Yeah. Just all the secondary riders. Of the Come on, Yusuke. Okay. <laughs> is, it, is it supposed to be like an actual in-show story-driven connection, or is it more just an aesthetic I, connection? I, I feel like it's just going to be an aesthetic connection. Uh, that I'm down gonna with that. Like, and I don't it's going to be like, the anniversary stuff. Going it, it, on it's right kind of like in Bokenger <laughs> when they all look like the the mecha, all the bad guys look like the oh, mecha. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fucking addressed yeah. it. Okay. Like I, I feel, feel like, like that would be that. that. It, it would like be it interesting too. to give this relatively new writer an entire like anniversary <laughs> season. <laughs> hey, we do these really big things, and this is the fiftieth anniversary. <laughs> new guy. <laughs> you got this. <laughs> so, but yeah, yeah. Okay, I thought you were winding up for something, and then you were like, "But I thought I was yeah. gonna say something too, but then I was like, I don't have anything to say." So, um, solid. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Murder trains coming through. Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, um, the and, the press conference and, is on Monday night. If anyone cares. Oh yeah, and we're gonna be doing yeah. a live on Soto Pop during the, the conference. And I'm off work this week, so I can actually like Heck yeah. be part of that. And I can watch it too. I can watch it get copyright claimed. It'll be great. Oh yeah. I don't I'm know how gonna, we're gonna I don't know how or where we're gonna once. watch it. So. It happened once and never again. So can we figure out how many episodes Saber will have left over by this point? Two of this? men. That's <laughs> that is accurate. It should be done already, please. Yeah. But I feel like it's been running for about three it, years. I think I think they said it was forty-seven or forty-eight, depending on if there's another break or not. Uh, Josh is saying this, and he hasn't watched. It. <laughs> like, <laughs> no, no, we know I, when Saber's gonna end. I'm really I, fucking tired of it. When I say stuff, I'm really like that, tired it's of not because watching. it feels like genuinely the story is like, okay, let's wrap this up <laughs> <Yeah>. now. <laughs> The host what finds a, some new stuff to do, and I don't like. Yeah, at least the Zenkai Jerks uh, crossover this past week was really fun. But I see, yeah. yeah, I didn't watch it yet. What was that episode forty four? No, it, it's not. It's, it's not, not numbered. numbered. Oh, okay. it doesn't count. Yeah. Okay. So it, yeah. The, well, it's weird. The Zenkaiger part does. So Zenkaiger is episode twenty of Zenkaiger, but Saber is like special episode. Yeah. But you have to watch the Saber one first. They go. They lead into each other. So, because okay. that's how they air. Okay. Yeah. Um. What was the one before this? Forty three. I yes yes. Yeah. So we only so. have like four left. Okay. So one whole month of this. Because they're off. They're off this weekend. There's no superhero time. Mm. Right. Because um, Olympics. Right. And then they yeah. come back next weekend. So. Okay. Oh, only one week. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. I Take that I more time. <laughs> I'm only on episode 20. Please help me. <laughs> I'm sorry. You should have left the night before. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> My last episode I watched was, I think, 12. So. Gotta do it. Yeah. No, no I don't. I don't want to. Matter. Josh, I'm not even talking yeah, to you. You no. don't watch anything. That's true. Son of a bitch, I could two times speed it, couldn't I? You yeah, can. probably. If yeah. You can read fast enough, yeah. You can go three times. I'm a, I'm a four, four times. times. Three, three, uh, four <laughs> four pushes. I ain't that fast. The only shows on Kyle. You don't have to worry about it. Trust me. Yeah. Yeah. The dialogue's not that important. You'll get the general idea. Also, I'm caught up on Zenkaiger and Trigger. That's all that matters. Oh, I got trigger three episodes. I, I, I trigger three yeah. episodes in one Oh, wait, never though. mind. That's not true. I forgot trigger air tonight. So I'm oh, good lord. Oh, okay. is. Yeah. Well, to be I'm, fair, I'm, o- I'm opening up an episode to see if I can three times speed it. Shut up. I hate you. Three times speed is regular speed for Kingdom. I assume. Fun fact if you uh, watch Cross Saber's transformation three times speed, it's just the length of a normal transformation sequence. So. <laughs> Um, um how is speed on this? Was there anything else we wanted to say in regards to Rebus, or are we good? Uh, I mean, <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> there, uh, okay, no, no, I'll, no, I'll take the fucking reins on this. Okay, All right, cool. go. <laughs> Let's go. So, Vice's uh, voice actor is the guy that voiced the Seiza Blaster. Yeah, I don't remember his name because he's trash. 
Um, yeah. But yeah, he's a racist. Oh, actually, little yeah, bitch. I do have I do have a pa uh, paper that has. His okay. Name on it, yeah, that like, that <laughs> I, no one can read it, Corey. You're still small. Okay. Right. Um, <laughs> but you know, he's a... you screen big for a second. <laughs> it's okay. Now, which one is Vice? The the Imagine? Yeah, the, yeah, yeah. Okay. The Buddy Rider or whatever. The buddy Roy, gotcha. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, he's a he's a racist sack of shit. Um, yeah. So just uh, all I'm Why say would is, they pick him then? It doesn't make any sense because they no just don't care. They just Toei, Toei doesn't care. They don't have cancel court cancel culture in Japan. Not really. Not, not to this mm -hmm. level. Um, but yeah, seems I mean, like a pretty base it, level. But all right, yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, I agree. I agree. It's not uh, like you take, know. We're, take that we're, information we're, as you we're will. Looking through the minutia, it's like it's pretty straightforward. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, that's all I'm going to say on the matter. Uh, yeah, yeah. Take that information as you will. Watch the yeah, show. Don't watch the show. Buy the toys. Don't buy the toys. Rebel how yeah. you want to rebel. You do yeah. you. Yeah. You go to you go at it uh, at your own comfort level, I guess. Yeah. Like if yeah, it's yeah. if it bothers you, that's fine. <laughs> if yeah. it doesn't bother yeah. you, okay. <laughs> as long as you know, as long as you like, can, as long as you can sit here and know that racism is racism is bad. <laughs> yeah. That's all I care. As long that's as you the have thing. it's like life. it puts me in a difficult oh. spot because I'm like, why did you do this? Now I have to feel guilty about watching the next rider. Like, thanks. Right, right. <laughs> and that yeah. was that was the problem I had because a lot of people were up in arms about it on Twitter, and like I understand, like racism sucks ass. Don't do it. Um. Don't, don't do, do it. Don't, <laughs> don't do, do drugs. Or don't, don't you do it. Don't, don't, don't you do um, it. But yeah, it's it, it puts you in a rough spot because it's like, <laughs> I love Ryder. I want to watch this. I yeah. like the characters. I like the concept. I want to feel guilty buying toys or watching it. And uh, so, like like I was saying earlier, it's just go about this how you feel is best for you. Mm -hmm. And everyone else can go about it the best that they can, yeah. uh, given the situation. Well, yeah. and it's like and with like what just, Toy is trying to do with pushing Ryder a little bit more internationally, it's just like a bad move. <laughs> like, yeah, just Toei moves. is a bad company. Yes, they are. <laughs> they are an awful company. <laughs> uh, and like, but yeah, just don't attack people for going about it how they feel like going about it. I guess is mm -hmm. what I want to say at the end of the day. Um. But yeah, if anyone goes, this isn't a big deal, then go ahead and yell at them because racism sucks ass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and if you are still having trouble like sorting this out, like there are a bunch of other fandoms that have similar situations and they but can't even figure it out. You'll you'll yeah. encounter this everywhere, unfortunately. Because yeah. Yeah, like, like if you're a World of Warcraft player, you're probably feeling awkward this week. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Do you want to know why uh, Old God isn't here tonight? It's because he he's uh, speaking with his guild members today. Oh wow. <laughs> yeah, and and that's that's fair. Um, people yeah. over there in a very similar kind of yeah. situation. Um, much love to them. Yeah, and and like I was saying at the at the end of the day, it's going to matter upon how you go about things because particularly when you get into like the entertainment industry you're never going to be 110% morally just everywhere because guess what there's shitty people in all facets of the world it's true and yeah. so like so like if you liked zero one i'm sure there is somebody on zero one staff that is other racist trash garbage but everyone still watched and supported Zero One. Uh, now, granted, this is a lead actor, so it's a ton bigger. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. But all I'm saying is, like, it's just kind of how it is everywhere. And it's never going to get better until the world gets better. And that's going to be a long time because the world sucks ass. <laughs> yeah. Wow. What a great way to end this discussion. Uh I know. Right. I know. It's unfortunate. But yeah. Yeah, yeah, do do, should do what you feel. Do what you feel is right in terms of mm -hmm. how you go about this and how you go about anything yeah. uh, that involves racist sons of a bitch, bitches, bitch. <laughs> yep, just fuck them. Technically, up. it's only one bitch, so sons of a bitch. I don't know. Maybe don't, there's multiple bitches. I don't, I don't know. know this, I don't, I don't know, know her life. Just... I don't know how many kids she had. All right, fuck them and move on. Okay. <laughs>
Hey, lightning storm! Oh god. Josh is gonna flash us. <laughs> oh, no. Let's just get this over with. Oh, I forgot. I already blocked this out, man. I know. I forgot god. this happened. <laughs> Damn it, Hasbro. All right, so now can I say one thing? For, for the price increase, I can't even get the entire fork. <laughs> oh, I know. Yeah. So when I when I put the image into like the crop background thing, it didn't even bother to like fully crop it out, and I didn't care enough, so I just left it. <laughs> it's like you're not buying this. Is fucking okay. <laughs> so, well, yeah, I have to. But um, have so to they are. Out of nowhere, they announced that the PulseCon exclusive for Lightning Collection is going to be Pudgy Pig. So that's cool. I think the figure looks great. Um, not definitely not what I was expecting for the convention exclusive, but whatever. I like the accessories he comes with. He has the fork and knife and everything. Um, he has some food, which is fun. And then he comes in this special lunchbox styled packaging, which I think is kind of fun as well. I think it's neat. The problem, though, is that he was announced uh, on the reveal day and in like the official press release to cost forty nine ninety nine, which is already too much. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was cheaper than that. No, it was that. It was forty nine. I mean, it doesn't matter anyway. But so, or, I'm sorry, forty four ninety nine, forty four ninety nine. But um, yeah. So it was, it was already not very great there. Then. <laughs> Uh, they've been putting the PulseCon exclusives up on Pulse, like as like placeholders for you know if you want to bookmark it or something. Mm -hmm. um, and when they did that finally this week, which I believe was on Wednesday, uh, they put Pudgy Pig's page up, and instead of it being forty nine forty four ninety nine, it was fifty seven ninety nine. So yeah, exactly. He needs the he needs the yeah, radish. He doesn't have the fucking sandwich. He can't even come with that for the price. Now they did the same thing with the is it. Uh, is it, uh, what is his name? Is <laughs> yeah, there you go. Is it Ravage for Here's... Transformers? Is that the guy's name? For yeah, yeah. 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 Well, they did the same thing there because the press release for that was listed as forty four ninety nine, and it's not forty four ninety nine. What? Yeah. What happened? <laughs> uh, has Hasbro's Kimberly. like, we need money. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. So they're, they're they... speculating it's because of rising shipping costs from overseas where everything's made. Yeah. Yeah, like if the, that uh, the e is getting ready to douche everyone with shipping costs. It's not going to be good. Like, <laughs> no. some holiday season, it's going to be terrible. I'm they glad also that, like the consumers are the last ones to know what the price is. Yeah. Oh yeah. They also up uh, changed the prices on Pulse for like a bunch of other lightning collection stuff. They upped the metallic armors by two dollars. So, uh, like all the ones that are not out yet. So hopefully your pre-orders will still be the old price. Um, they also changed every pass release. They upgraded the price on all the pass releases. So if you were getting price, if you were, you know still hadn't gotten figures from certain waves, you're gonna be paying more for them now. Um, now, what's interesting is that so we have like this lunchbox style packaging. I I still genuinely have no idea if this actually comes with a lunchbox or not, um, because the the back of the box has like a little warning on it that says parents wash before use <laughs> and i cannot you gotta throw pudgy yeah. pig in the dishwasher before I you cannot think he's a filthy boy i cannot think of why the hell that would be there if you didn't get an actual lunchbox and i would really hope that for 57.99 you're not just getting this figure in this special so, like looking looking at the image um it looks like it's a lunchbox that's just wrapped around cardboard right um, so yeah, I would assume you do actually get a lunchbox, which is for fifty seven ninety nine. I want the radish sandwich and the pyrotechnics that went off when he finally ate the yeah, radish seriously. sandwich. <laughs> that should have been like an effect piece. Like, no, I mean real pyrotechnics. Like, fireworks <laughs> in the lunchbox. Pack it in the lunchbox. Either way, like I mean, if it does actually have a lunchbox, I guess that's kind of cool, but. I didn't need that. I, I honestly, <laughs> be sure to use it when I go to school ten to twenty years ago. Right. <laughs> like, it's just it's just really weird to me because like the, you know the monsters were thirty, so you would have to imagine this was you know there's no way this was going to be any less than that obviously, and it's like but those did not do very well. But like I don't know. I feel like forty is like the max this should be. I like, I feel given the lunchbox. 50 would have been fine. 
Because they charged us fifty for Draken. Right. That, that's that's another thing too. The not only did they do that for Draken, but they did that in twenty nineteen for the Jason two pack. If the, if the Power Rangers ones are just like relatively always consistently fifty, I feel like that's fine. Yeah. But uh, honestly, but, I don't need well, a lunchbox. I would have just enjoyed if the box looked like a lunchbox. I don't need it to actually be <laughs> a lunchbox. Like I love the I love the idea of the packaging looking like a lunchbox. That's very clever, and I yeah, like it's it. Fine. I, just, yeah. I don't need it to be functional. It's a box. Right. But yeah, I mean, it's just whatever. But yeah, so if you want it, if you're willing to to spend almost sixty dollars on this figure, uh, I mean, I'm probably gonna buy it anyway because I'm weak. But I'm not happy. Mm -hmm. Oh like, yeah, I mean, I have to pick, get it. So how'd you fix my fucking favorite monster from MMPR season one? Like, I'm buying this son of a bitch. <laughs> um, it just yeah, I'm mad about it. Right, exactly. <laughs> I definitely don't want to pay that, but. Yeah, my, and who knows? Uh, maybe he'll get a single release to down the line or something. He, but he's too know. fatty. Ain't uh, like because I, I was talking to my friend about Pudgy Pig, uh, because like we both have a mutual love for Pudgy Pig, and it was like so he's well, a normal how, human. Got it. How, how are you <laughs> going to sell this? Because like the Lightning Collection boxes are all the same fucking size, mm -hmm. and it's like you would have to literally pack this like they did Modoc and like try oh, to assemble yeah. him <laughs> yeah <laughs> uh to get into a package that thin and yeah. uh so I, I didn't even think about the fact that he could be a uh, convention exclusive and just have you know, <laughs> to, to be honest based on how the monsters did i figured he would never happen at all oh no that's fair that's where i was at too yeah so um but, but they could have really tossed, tossed in a couple more accessories. I mean, I know, you know, if it's going to be yeah, this yeah, much, yeah. just Again, throw in give, a little bit something give me else. A sandwich. Yeah, I, I mean, mean I, seriously, I, like, that was a pretty key part of the episode. He really should have had that. I'm looking at my PulseCon exclusive want list, and it's running like 300 bucks deep. So this yeah. is not great. <laughs> I, I only have two, you want it's already it? like 110. Pretty much all of them. Really? Okay. I mean, obviously, I know you're getting this in the Transformers one, but like, yeah, I want Pudgy yeah. Pig and I want Ravage. I'm good with. And I can I want the Cantina set, and I got to get Dave Filoni, and I need that oh, Venom, yeah, cool. Marvel that Legends cool. Venom. Yeah, the and Venom does look really good too. Zartan's like in the maybe pile. It's going to depend on like how hard he is. Well, to you pack. have all the other classified figures, don't you? Mm. Finally, since Target restocked <laughs> right. everything. So I mean, at this point, I didn't buy the movie Snake Eyes ones, but. Are you going to or? I don't know. I feel like those but would be a good clearance purchase. It, it's going to be a I gap don't... in the numbers, Chris. You got it. Know. Gotta the that's gap. what I hate. I wish they were their own numbers. But that's why they're not. <laughs> right. Yeah, they know what they're doing. But so yeah, I mean, this is uh, this is a thing. Uh, PulseCon in probably September. We don't know officially when for sure yet, but mm. probably then or around then. What? The well, all right. Exactly. Next up. What? That wasn't... Oh, well, I guess... Okay, Power Rangers news. What was that under? I don't know. That lightning. was the lightning, lightning. Storm category. Right. Which is Power know. Rangers. Yeah. I know. I know. <laughs> what is this? What is this? Um, so these are leaked uh, characters for Battle for the Grid. Oh, okay, next. Oh. So... so <laughs> <laughs> Uh, apparently, these were uh, accidentally posted on some artist's portfolio. Uh, so, oops. <laughs> two things real quick. One, you don't get the entire Gravesword. It's just a body with two arms <laughs> floating around battling. <laughs> yeah. Two, I'm very interested to see how Rita's going to fight in that outfit. Like, is she going to be throwing <laughs> kicks in that skirt? I don't know what's happening. But Adam's it's cool. It's definitely an interesting choice of characters here. Yeah, I still haven't bought like the last two. I just stuck. I mean, I, I like the game. I just eventually, maybe they'll do some sale bundle or uh, something. Battle for the Grid, the game that everyone who isn't a Power Rangers fan cares about. Yes, because right? like, Power Rangers fans do not care about this game at all. <laughs> yeah, it's like I said. It's not that it's bad. I yeah. just, you know, I got moved on to something else and just never went back. Yeah. Was there no so the, the one with Scorpina? Was there one after that? The Street Fighter one. That's right. So this will be the third one I don't have. Yeah. So. All right. Cool. 
Yay! Really? Finally, something good out of this line. I know, right? Can, can I say real quick? The funniest thing to me was like the people leak these pictures. I'm like, oh, that actually looks really good. He's not ridiculously wide for no reason, like all the rest of them are. Like this is actually pretty cool. And then the Power Rangers official Twitter was like, hey, it's Ninja. Here you go. And then the final shot, like his arms are still down, his thighs are still oh my up, God. and just the head has changed. Yeah. I'm like, guys, it's your fucking product. I know they do not <laughs> understand. But yeah, like, I, uh, his head's different. <laughs> I had this bookmarked for a couple of days, so I was able to get those pictures out a half hour before the thing went up. So thanks, Walmart. But <laughs> yeah, so this went up today uh, at the Walmart Collector Con thing. Uh, it's an exclusive there, just like all the other retros. Although it is on Pulse as well, if you want to get it from Pulse for a dollar more, because Pulse doesn't know what prices are this week. So. Yeah, I mean it's fun. I think it definitely looks pretty cool. Obviously, it's very limited in articulation. Yeah. Um, but I mean, it's not supposed to be like a lightning collection figure or anything like that. It's just supposed no. to be a fun little thing. Yeah, it's a cool little yeah. like what are these five inch? I guess. I think the description speaker. said this was six point five. Really? So, actually, so I think it actually might be lightning scaled, but not what? like lightning. That's you know weird. what I mean, like <laughs> our figure. Yeah. Why? Wait, this doesn't make any sense. Aren't the other ones? Small? The other ones are like They're, five. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I don't know. But, Do we have you seen any shots if you can combine the sword and the sheath uh, or scabbard or whatever you want to call it? I have not seen any scale? of that implies that you can, but I would be I'm fifty fifty on if they would actually bother to do that. So John says it's four point five. Oh. Is it four point five? What did it say on Walmart? Well either way, that's awesome. I would rather yeah, be no, smaller. Either way, I fucking love it. Like it's yeah, yeah. It's, it's about cool. time we have him in this like a normal figure scale. Yeah, yeah. Because we never did. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. The deprived figure scale in the description: six point five inches. Is what? it six or four? Six. It says six in the product description. Okay. What well, has what of emotions this has been? Yeah, I don't Hasbro's know. product page. You mean like on Pulse or? Oh, I don't know. Whatever the press thing. John like, I, says it's I'd four point be... five as well. So where are we getting? Where are you looking, Josh? No, I, that's why I said John said it was four point five, and then we went and looked and it says yeah. six point five. I'm on the Walmart page right now. It says six point five. Well, let me look at the Hasbro page just out of curiosity. Well, the Hasbro page is going to be wrong because that's what they've been doing all week. <laughs> whoa, whoa! You're probably right. But, well, I mean, first of all, Walmart has Ninja for twelve ninety three, shipping by the end of August. Pulse has it for thirteen ninety nine, shipping in October. So. You know, that's how that works. Uh, but they have... Pulse has it listed as... Yeah, they don't have a figure scale on Pulse. Yeah, it doesn't say. Okay. Yeah. Inconclusive. Inconclusive. So, Wait, John, where did you get the 4.5 information? Yeah, John, you're just talking out of your ass? What's that? <laughs> He's making up We're shit. calling you out! <laughs> so, but yeah, I mean, this is fun. Oh, hold on, it's 4.5 inches wide. Like all the other ones. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. So, un unfortunately, they did not reveal Wave 2 yet, so we haven't seen how Ranger Slayer is going to look in this. <laughs> I can't wait. But, uh, it's going to be good. That episode, but, I'm sure. It's Ranger, be Ranger Slayer is going to be a thick bitch. Yeah, it's going to be <laughs> yes. a Now, so, how long until this gets repainted in the red color scheme? I hope so. Exclusive? That'd be fine. <laughs> Target Give exclusive. me my Ninja Con. <laughs> oh, Post Josh. 2022. When is the the disguised Andros going up? You think? I'm pretty confident it's going to go up on Sunday. Sunday, okay. Because so today was the carbonized Star Wars is like the final weekday of right. the summer geek out thing, but they they keep advertising on their site that the big like finale to summer geek out is on Sunday where they're going to be announcing a bunch of exclusives and pre orders and stuff. Is there anything tomorrow or no? Just Sunday? No, not tomorrow. But Sunday, yeah, Sunday the 25th is when they're announcing like a bunch of stuff. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. And I would have to imagine that Andrews would be part of that. So. Nah. Or nah. Yeah, he could also not show up. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, this makes me happy. Yeah, this is, yeah this is cool. Whether he's four inch or six inch. I mean, maybe he's four inch and then he gets excited he's six inch. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Yeah, but I pre-ordered this. I also picked up the Jason one because uh, the since the collector con thing is going on right now, all of them, all the first wave is seven dollars right now. So I figured, hey, oh, I'm I figured, oh, that's true. 
So I was but like, yeah. hey, I'll get the Jason one. I thought for you seven already bucks. That one. I didn't get it. No. Oh. Yeah. John just made a good point, though. He said for 12 bucks, six inch would be more expensive. Possible. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. True. And with we'll all see. the mimicry. It's true. It but looks yeah. like a decent amount of paint as well. Yeah, it's not too and bad. Chrome. Put yeah. some chrome on there. Yeah. But yeah, we'll see. I mean, either way, I'm fine with it. He still looks great. Yeah. I mean, it's basically um, just like a scaled down version of the original Deluxe toy. So. Yeah. More yeah. or less. So. Yeah. yeah. Which is good. That's what I want. Yeah. Looks good. All right. Cool. All right. Next let's time. move on. It's time, it's time to wheel jack. jack. All right. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, These are here. That Megatron. Uh, right. Okay. Here's so. The thing. Oh, go ahead. Okay. Um, Reform and Madden Megatron. Kind of cool. I think it would uh, make for a neat display piece like uh, between Siege or Earthrise and Megatron and then Kingdom Galvatron and there's like this one in the middle because it's kind of like yeah, I mean, and stuff. Uh, I do like, grape flavored Megatron. Though. Yeah, that, that's fine. Yeah, he's a Jolly Roger. Um, Optimus. Um, why? Uh, exactly. Uh, he, he looks <laughs> perfectly fine, but the Kingdom one just came out and I went and looked at the Kingdom one again and I'm like, I'm good. This one's it's, perfectly I great. Feel, <laughs> I feel like if you had taken him and how many red, how many red figures are there at this point? Like, what wave is this? Eight, maybe. Uh, well, the other ones, two, three, the uh, Bumblebee and Starscream, still haven't come out. This, this is eight and nine, I believe. Every okay. once in a while, I get an email from Walmart that says, "Hey, we have information regarding one of your pre-orders. Delivery has now been changed to twelve a.m." <laughs> <laughs> That's all it says. Delivery has now been changed to twelve a.m. I'm like a date. Not, like, <laughs> nope. it doesn't tell you what pre-order it is it doesn't give you a date it just says you, you will get it you will get it at midnight on a surprise day yeah some guy will just show up and be like i'm here 12 a.m as all of a sudden so, some, you know, some man will pop out of a bush and just go so, i have no idea thing. i don't even know what pre-order it's regarding oh so. but uh, yeah i mean i didn't buy cheetor because i didn't really like the way it looked well, just the color scheme and everything like, like there my, were certain... my, my point on that is that <laughs> does, does anyone like this line I always just hear people complain about it. I bought the first three, and they were okay. I felt like the plastic was a little cheap in spots, and it was kind of hollow feeling in spots. But I was like, okay, they're you know the three most iconic G one characters. So, so this like, this Megatron is just a repaint. Right? This is one hundred percent a repaint, and it's a neat idea for a repaint. But if you're gonna do the grid, why does the grid stop? on the front of his legs. I can see it's not on the inside of that leg. That's terrible. Like if you're gonna do the grid paint, you gotta do a 360. I can see it's not on the side of his arms. He only got his front of his arm reformatted. He's still walking around yeah. with the sides of Megatron. You know, he doesn't get the side of his legs reformatted. Yeah, I'm like, what the hell? It's like it's a neat idea, but you only it's took it like 60% of the way. Yeah, it's and I'll tell you something the, else. Uh, I would rather the whole damn thing be in the grid pattern. I don't really give a shit about this halfway grid pattern shit. That's right. Well, they can't afford that much paint. If they can't even wrap around the leg, they I can't guess, really. yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I mean th- that's how I am kind of with this, like. The Megatron's a neat idea, but you didn't quite pull it off. Can and you just imagine how lopsided some of those lines are going to be? Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> oh my God. And the Optimus looks nice, but I just personally, like I said, I didn't I, buy Cheetor. I just don't need this. I wish it was instead. It, like it looks very much like Kingdom, uh, mm. and I just I wish it was closer to the animation model like Cheetor was, like compared to the Kingdom toy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they were different. I just the thing with Cheetor I didn't like was like some he had like too much like orange on him. Like there were just yeah, his, his, his coloring was just off. The, yeah, the that's what, was yeah. fine, but the yeah. the coloring was a little off. So, mm-hmm. but yeah, this yeah. is these are things that happened. You know yeah. what else is things that happened? This the next, next slide. Yes, yeah. now we're talking. See, this is <laughs> okay. See that fucking gun? Why doesn't Cheetor have that gun? I'm assuming because he's a yeah. deluxe versus a Voyager, but still. I wish Cheetor had that gun, but the, otherwise, these guys are fantastic. I mean, the plus is I've already seen some upgrade kits for Cheetor that kind of made a gut gun, but now that you there is an actual one made, uh, I mean, I'm sure someone's just going to scan that, shrink it down, and make a Cheetor one. <laughs> I mean, maybe. But yeah, he yeah. looks so good. I mean, I've always loved his color scheme, but this just looks so good. I'm so excited I, for this. I was just watching a video on him yesterday, and... Mm-hmm. Oof, that paint is primo. It is. It is yeah. very, very good. 
<laughs> oh, I thought you were going to say the other way. Someone already, no, has, no. Tom already have this? Uh, Prime vs. Prime does. Oh, Jesus, wow. Man. Where is he? Is he in Australia? Australia? <laughs> or is he in Asia uh, He's somewhere? He's Australian, I believe. Okay, yeah. I was saying, Australia it, always gets up really soon. It really does, the transformation really does feel like just a slight improvement on Cheetor. Like, <laughs> it's, it's not radically different, but it is, like, there's enough Cheetor in there, but there's also enough like differences to it looks to like feel the, good. Yeah. The tiger legs look like they inlay into the like shins better. Yeah, oh like they do. They, yeah. they do. They they sit fairly flush with it. Yeah, it's nice. Like obviously you can tell because it's a sculpted piece, it's just chilling there, but it, it <laughs> insets in the leg really well. So the I'm teal's excited. nice and metallic. The yeah. I it, it, looked, awesome. it looked a little bit messy from the top because like the back like butt panel uh, <laughs> had had like the cream coloring on it and then it just sort of stopped and went into normal mm -hmm. white. Oh man, um, yeah, everyone's favorite description for a butt creamy. Good old creamy tiger butt, you know. <laughs> uh, but I, I I like the fact that they did it because like actual um, snow tigers, white tigers, whatever you want to call them. Snow tigers. I have snow leopards. Is this? Oh man, it's going to uh, start snowing soon. I better go out and put the snow tigers on. <laughs> <laughs> so, like they actually have that. So it's nice that they did that here. Um, I just hope that. Does he have different feet too good. in robot mode? Uh, His feet he, look better. Sort of. He does he have, have slightly feet. different feet. Yeah, yeah, he has heel spurs now. Yeah. They, they flip out from underneath. It looks good. I'm very excited. Let's go. When are these? Is this wave four? Uh, yeah, last wave. Oh, is wave four it? That's then it's done. Uh huh. Oh shit. That's sad. I feel like we just started I this. There's still so done. much. There's still so much to do. There's not a lot of misses in Kingdom so far. Yeah. So. <laughs> Dude, there haven't been many misses in anything recently. I feel like. Well, for the most part. I mean, Red Series, obviously, but I'm not counting them. They're not, they're not real Transformers. Yeah. Uh, may I remind you, slide back. <laughs> yes, oh. but they, they don't transform, so they don't count. I, I was also going to mention, in regards to the gut gun, it doesn't really fit in yeah, with the transformation. It just kind of pegs in on his underbelly. It doesn't, it doesn't like, hide sit anywhere. flush with anywhere. Yeah. I was going to say, I don't really see it even in that picture. It's yeah, it's What's not... up with, is this just this picture? The barrel just kind of like trails off. <laughs> like I don't know what's <laughs> happening there. <laughs> but yeah, awesome. Very excited right. for this. Cool. Next up. Yeah. Neca. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm excited. All right, Chris. Let's do this. You have ten minutes. Oh my god, so good. <laughs> First of all, look at these. Look at these gargoyles. So good. I can't remember. De Demona I... turned out really good. Yeah, like, I mean, when was the last time we got gargoyle figures, the original Kenner figures from back in the day? Like, I don't think anyone's attempted them since then. Correct. But the only thing, I love the wings, but I almost kind of wish they came with, like, options. Like, you know how they would take their wings and, like, bring them down and then, like, like almost like they were robes? Mm -hmm. I wish there was some way to, like, interchange them or do something like that. Uh, they'll probably just make variations later or something like that, but uh, the wings look really good, I think. Uh, Thalog out of Goliath was a no-brainer because it's just a simple repaint. Obviously, Goliath is our first. We got a box shot over here on the left. Um, but yeah, I'm super pumped for these. Uh, I already have Goliath pre-ordered for a while now, but I'm assuming these will... I think they said these two were happening before the end of the year, and then they have like eight or nine figures planned for next year. So I'm assuming we'll get the whole rest of the clan and you know, maybe some other it'll, fun. It'll be really hard not to get these. <laughs> yeah. And like, I'm, I'm hoping they eventually span, you know, continue on to like Talon and like some of those other like adjacent characters that they did. I think that'd be really fun. I don't really need, I mean, I'm sure they'll do Elisa at some point. Cause like you have to in Xanatos, but if you're going to do Xanatos, give me in like the, the metal armor, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like I don't want just like a Xanatos in a suit chilling, um, but they might, but anyway, these are fantastic. All right. Next one. Uh, also, real quick before you do that, um, Ryan Darkclaw six four three in the chat says, "Do you think Shadow Panther's repaint of Tiger Trainer Cheetor? It's Cheetor. It's a deluxe." All right, continue. 
Why is there uh, an action figure of Matt Mercer? I was just going to say that. <laughs> I was just going to say that. that is. Aeros 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 never allowed to have his own jokes. I'm not. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> is that a, who is that? Matt Mercer said uh, he runs Critical Role. Oh, I don't know what that is. Anyway, uh, so many turtles. <laughs> um, so this is a big deal. We finally get, like, when they made the that original. Great fucking Matt Mercer. Oh my yeah. God. Anyway, um, when they did the first Casey Jones figure, they didn't have the license likeness rights for the actor, so he just had the the hockey mask on, and you couldn't. Everyone was like, "Oh, you can just take it off, and it's underneath." And they're like, "No, it's not. The hockey mask is molded onto the head." But people just pried it off and tried to was like, "No, whatever." What? So the, what the hell? Why would they Why lie about that? Who told you it's not under there? It's I don't know. I saw pictures of people file. rip the mask off, and it's just like part of a head. <laughs> It looks like Saber with just the black piece when you didn't put the other piece. Oh my god, people are so stupid. Um, but anyway, so I guess now when they originally contacted the actor, he wasn't interested. But then I guess after the response, they recontacted him, and he's in. He's in on board are now. Are so, now, bitch? Yeah. So and we're getting oh, a. You um, so much money. Okay. We're get, yes, exactly. Oh, you'll pay me. Oh, good. Okay, I'm in. Um, but anyway, so he is. Uh, we got the face mask list, Casey here. Um, the shredder on the left is the uh, secret of the ooze shredder. Where in the first movie, if you can see him, he's right here. He has the red, uh, like gi, I guess, and his helmet doesn't have the serrated part to it. When he comes back for the second movie, he's now wearing purple. I'm assuming because the cartoon was more popular by that time, so they tried to match the colors. Just my theory, but and he has a different kind of his helmet is like has serrated blades around the side and the top piece so they're doing that and then this third one is super shredder which again is right here uh but this is now that figure but done in a color scheme that more resembles the playmates um super shredder action figure from back in 92 or 93 or whenever that happened so they have already done one repaint of this figure in a more like all black color scheme and now this is a third one so pick your favorite collect them all that's up to you uh, also, so this is all movie related turtle stuff. They also did for whatever reason, I don't even know what this is going to be, but, uh, toy bro on Twitter found a Walmart pre-order for a Casey and April movie farm pack. So if you've seen the original nineties movie, there's a time when they escape the city, they hide out at April's family farm for a time to heal up and everything. And so I don't know if this is that Casey or if there's going to be a third Casey where maybe he's just wearing like the wife beater and the sweatpants that he wears while he's at the farm. I don't know. Um, time will tell. But these were actually shown off on uh, NECA did like a Comic-Con stream on Monday. And these were all shown from that. So next, more turtles. Okay, so this is uh, this is a <laughs> tease. It, it looks like I'm in a uh, in, in a laser tag, uh, <laughs> like battle zone. There's like a skate uh, ramp in the give front. Give me yeah. flashbacks. <laughs> oh god, negative. Uh, yeah. Anyway, so this so they have four lines going. They have the uh, Turtles in Time video game. They have the movie stuff. They have the cartoon stuff, and then they have the Mirage comics. Um. So this is a tease of Fugitoid from the Mirage Comics line. So everyone kind of thought the Mirage Comics line was dead because they haven't really done much to it uh, recently. Uh, but we got a tease for Fugitoid, so that's kind of neat. So this is just a, you know, light tease here. Do you think they would ever move on to, like, the other uh, series? Like, not just the 80s one? It really depends what it's all about licensing. Mm -hmm. Um People have asked them, and they said, like, nothing at this time. Yeah. I mean, there's so much that they can farm out of that original cartoon because it ran for 10 seasons. Right, right. Um, maybe if that all goes, you know, I think they would probably move to the 2003 series first because the other one with Nickelodeon is still pretty fresh. And well, I mean, everyone so wants Expectation toys. next, right? Oh, of course, yes. <laughs> I got it. I got it right here somewhere. Still sealed. Anyway. Um <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it, people have asked them, and, and so far they've kind of just said, like, we don't have rights for that yeah, at this that time. So. I, I feel like Nickelodeon would get that over pretty easily, though. 
Yeah, I mean, Nickelodeon, I mean, at one point, Mezco did a tease for Turtle stuff, and I was just like, how much more, like, six-inch Turtle stuff? I mean, stuff no, Hasbro's do about need? to do it here in a second, so whenever they get around to announcing that. Yeah, but that's, like, because it's specifically Power yeah. Ranger related, so that makes sense to me. But, like, you already have NECA and Super 7 doing this, and now Playmates is trying to do it, too, because Playmates still has the Master Toy license, right, so they're right. trying to come up with their own. They did... And I think it's going to be part of Walmart Collector Con, like within the next couple of days, might even be tomorrow for all I know. Um, they're trying to do two packs of like a turtle and a villain that looks really similar to the packaging for the NECA line at Target. <laughs> <laughs> like they're hoping people will buy it by mistake, I swear. Playmates are is grasping at straws. Are man. they like they just, cheaper or like what is? Not really. They look cheaper, but they're not <laughs> financially cheaper. Um, they did a line of six inch figures way back in the day, like at Toys R Us. I think it was Toys R Us exclusive. Um, and it was like the first six inch turtles with articulation, you know, that had ever been done. And they were, eh, apparently they don't hold up very well. People have been saying that like the plastic starts to deteriorate. Oh. Um, but these are think different than those, or maybe they are, I can't remember if they're slightly different or if they're just kind of like repainted versions of those toys put in a two pack and said, Hey, they're 50 bucks. And everyone's just like, yeah, no, if I'm going to spend 50 bucks, I'm going to go to one of these other two places that have been crushing it for months now, instead of these sad old, like basically all they do at this point is pull out their old shit and repackage it and try to resell it. Cause there's no cartoon right now. Right. Uh, Rise of the TMNT crashed hard because it sucked. And uh, so, you know, the, everyone else is making all this money and playmates is just stuck without, like right. rights to make toys that don't exist. So, yeah, because I, mean, just... I mean, all the week that's coming out like next day, I think, is well, they're doing that Rise of the Team and Team movie on Netflix. Oh, are then, they really? They're making yeah. a movie for that? And then it's kind of it's supposed to be kind of like a finale kind of thing. Oh, okay. Um, and exactly. then was it? Was there any story to that to the finale? <laughs> anyway, I, yeah, right. it, it, there was a lot of story towards the other seasons. Like, how long did it go for? Two seasons, I think. Two seasons. Yeah. And then I think, was it Seth Rogen that's doing a movie? Um, yeah, I saw something where he tweeted something yeah. about Turtles, and I it was very vague. Like, he's doing the next live-action movie or something? It got, like, a release date of, like, 2023 or something. Yeah, let's go. I mean, I'm here for it. Yeah. Any new movies that we're all going to be stoned. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to watch that newer cartoon. I watched like the first because they're not even full episodes. They were like 10 minute episodes like everything uh, else yeah, is now. Yeah, yeah. And I watched like the first two or three 10 minutes and I was just like, just can't do it. It's fair, just, fair. I really tried. I wanted to like it. And honestly, the toys that Playmates did were good. I mean, Playmates makes good action figures for 10 bucks. You know, they're colorful. They're bright. They good articulation. I just I had no fiction to back it up, so I bought like the first wave, and I was like, "Yeah, I'm done." Plus, they didn't last long. Uh, but anyway, let's go on to the next slide because there's several more. Yay! So this is all NECA stuff. Um, obviously, it's all NECA stuff, but this is the cartoon line at Target. So we're getting Dirtbag and Groundchuck. Very cool. These are these are rather obscure characters, but everyone loves them. This this circle thing is dirt, and because Groundchuck is a mole, you can actually pop the torso off of the legs. And then put the piece of like the ground effect and then put the torso in it so it looks like he's coming out of the ground. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, they do some really cool shit. But how uh, many times can you do that before the NECA figures disintegrate in your hands? Uh, I, I mean, honestly, the thing the thing about NECA toys is they're good toys, they're solid toys, but the problem is they they paint all the joints. And when that happens, especially uh, like with wrist joints and ankle yeah. joints, and even the knees. You can't move them, and yeah, then so don't, like don't do yeah. that. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. but the thing is, like, they make it out of some color plastic, so they have to paint it. But I'm like, couldn't you just make it out of that color? Yeah. So you don't have to paint it. But I guess because they're making everything else out of the same color, it must be a cost thing. I don't know how toys are made. I agree, but um, uh, there's obviously some reason they can't do that. But unfortunately, yeah. like, as soon as you move yeah. those joints, the paint just snaps off. Yeah. So I'm stuck with that color anyway. So it's like, why don't you just not paint it? I can move it fine. It's not going to have paint on it anyway when I start playing with it. Um, but they're they're really good. Like the designs are great. You know, the they're made well. It's just the the painting of the joints. And some people, you know, try to force it too hard and they snap things. But you have to just know what you're getting into, and you have to. And it has gotten better. I will say the last couple I've gotten, you know, they're constantly. Um, 
making running change, not running changes, but as they move on from figure to figure, they learn from the past, they make changes, they do things differently. So I really feel like it's been, it's been getting better. The last couple have been pretty solid. Uh, over here on the right, we have Wingnut and Screwloose. Wingnut! Which is another uh, awesome, kind of obscure, but fan favorite. They said originally that uh, Screwloose and Wingnut were just going to be an ultimate. So that's one box, 30 bucks. But uh, they just had so much, and, and Screwloose got so large. and Because a lot of the original toys would have like the figure and then like a super tiny little like PVC buddy that had no articulation. But because... They wanted to kind of do this guy justice and throughout the process he they just were like look we're just gonna have to make him his own figure so they went back and added more articulation to make him a full figure and because wingnut's kind of a beefy boy so again it's plastic density um so they're a full two-pack now and then uh bottom right here this is an example of an ultimate uh this is chrome dome which is massive i mean i think he's like eight inches tall um, comes with a bunch of accessories. He's going to be a really fun one to look for. I'm going to have to really try to track these in a target, but I'm still looking for the um, the most recent one is the Ultimate Foot Soldier in the uh, $30 price range, and I cannot find that anywhere. Apparently, I found out there's a scalper in my area, like I told that G.I. Joe story, so I think he just comes and ransacks the place, which is kind of a bummer. That's an asshole. Yeah. Over here in the bottom left, they did a tease. Um, it looks to be Toka and Razar. Now, they've already done Toka and Razar as part of the movie line, but this is the animated version of Toka and Razar, which were kind of... They did eventually make it to the cartoon after the movie, and they were more... Their animation model was more similar to those action figures I talked about earlier with the Super Shredder. They weren't exactly like the movie, but almost kind of like a animated like, stylized like version. inspired by uh, right so this tease is probably the cartoon versions of those two characters neat all right i'm very excited i can tell <laughs> right. uh is that it for NECA stuff oh yes okay so this was their like sdcc exclusive um, this is a Channel 4 news team, or Channel 6 news team, four figures is what I meant to say. Uh, we already have a Vernon. He came with the Rat King, um, but they're giving us another one here. We have Mr. Burns, we have Irma, and then they're giving us a cat version of April because there was one episode where she mutated into a cat lady. Yeah. Uh, since they already did April in the two-pack with a foot soldier earlier on, they would do something different here. So they did uh, the cat version of April. Uh, but, I mean, this set comes with those lights, those cameras, the box it comes and in. the action. <laughs> <laughs> the box it comes in, uh, like, folds out and looks like the news studio. And so then you can set up the cameras and the lights that's, and everything. That's really cool. And he's got the boom you can see and everything like that. So it's, it's a pretty cool set. Um, now, this, everything in the picture on the left is a set all together for, I want to say, 150 and that uh, will be available at Targets later on this year. But they put it up on their website as a bundle with the things that come on the right. So there's a T-shirt, a poster, like a, face, a fake press patch. Um, I think the Channel 6 thing, I think, is an iron-on patch. And then there's a small enamel pin of the news van. So if all this stuff together was 175 it went up on their website, I think, on Thursday at 1 o'clock. Um, it actually stayed up for a pretty long time. Usually they sell out pretty fast. I was in such a rush to get it ordered, I forgot to check the t-shirt size. <laughs> <laughs> there was a large and an extra large, and I accidentally bought the large, and I was like, it doesn't matter. Neither one's going to fit me anyway, so it doesn't matter. Um, but yeah, so basically, if you want just what's on the left, uh, look at Target soon. If you wanted everything, 175 on their website. I just bought it on the website one because I don't, I'm not going to find it at target. So this was the <laughs> easiest way for me to get it. And I felt like a t-shirt, a poster, a pin and some other shit for an extra 25 bucks. I felt like that's reasonable. I mean, t-shirts yeah. are usually yeah. around 20 bucks as it is, depending yeah, plus, on what you're buying. Not you know, like you just said, not having to go track it down at target. That's <laughs> yeah, honestly, I mean, that's the thing. Like I would have to, you know, try to get someone to find it for me and then yeah. pay like additional shipping costs. Right. right. Or, so I'm like, this is just it looks like it be like a big box of stuff too. So yeah, it's gonna big, be big. Yeah. So it's a really cool set. I think it's really neat. Um, I'm pretty excited for it, and I was really excited that I was able to get it. So cool. All right. I think that's probably it. 
this again. <laughs> We're just like, we love gargoyles. I don't know how gargoyles that guy are oh, it's the last yeah. slide. This is it. That's, that's weird. Yeah. All right. Yeah, well, that's it. I'm still excited about these two. Gargoyles. Are <laughs> I'm still excited. <laughs> All right. Cool. So that was that. But we still have another PowerPoint. Yeah, we do. Time for lucky that pricey. Oh snap! So, um, <laughs> so as you know, I like discounts. Discounts are cool. Uh -huh. uh, I like cheap things, and the best place to go if you're looking for cheaper versions of things is uh, mostly China. Um, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I thought, what what a better Most way, <laughs> what what a better way to take a look at products from China than to go to AliExpress. Oh no! Uh, oh, no. So <laughs> Is this one of those quote oh, fucking fuck wish sites? <laughs> oh, yeah, wish those dumb fuck wish sites. Yes. Uh, so this is AliExpress. Uh, I go here to, to just browse because there are a bunch of like um, just standard three and three quarter inch clone troopers for like really really cheap. Um, so that's really cool. But I thought yeah, no, feel like a good thing to just basically get bootlegs of just to, oh for yeah. sure. Uh, and they're pretty good. Quality, like, I've too. already done it. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I wish they don't. Hold have on, any, uh, bootlegs actually. They don't have Mission Fleet ones, so. Uh, but what they do have is, uh, well, the six items that I'm going to show you. We're also going to interweave the uh, two Amanda Rocos in here. And those are obviously going to be from Amanda Rocco. So those will be whenever those happen. But for this first time... Oh, and also, we're going to change the game up a little bit. Um, instead of guessing whether it's in stock or not, because it has to be in stock if it's on that site... Um, you're going to be guessing the rating that these have been given. And suspiciously... Oh, that's a good idea. I wonder where you got that. Yeah. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. We've never done something like that before in Geeky Tweak. So. <laughs> <laughs> you're right. Yeah, completely original idea. Um, suspiciously, all of the, uh, the, the scores range from four to five. Uh, out, of, out of five. So okay. we are going to be getting like 4.0, 4.1, all the way up to 5.0 uh, for those. So, uh, and those are going to be worth two points since I feel like it's going to be a, a bit tougher. Um, all right, let's move into this very first item. These are going to be in U.S. dollars. This is 12 pieces set Pocket Monster Pikachu action figure Pokemon game Pokeball model Charmander and figure. Alls toy for children <laughs> gift. A box including twelve pieces elf ball and twelve unique figures. Pet elf. Yes. I said uh, <laughs> pet elf go. Pet uh, elf go. Size ball four point eight centimeters. Figure two point five centimeters. Fast delivery and good packaging. Hey, Ry, remember oh, in fifth yeah. gen when they introduced the elf ball? Yeah, I love the elf ball. <laughs> Uh, yeah, anyway, so, uh, let's see. It was super effective against Santa Claus. <laughs> <laughs> but Claus was spelled C-L-A-W-S, right? Yeah, yeah. Actually, yeah. it's spelled C-R-O-S-S-Z. It was just a, a crabby and a, a beard. <laughs> yes. It was just like Antimax Kingler. Yeah. Santa Claus and Ice Cream. All right, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that elf go, I just saw the go logo. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> So, uh, Josh, since you were missing in the last Likey That Pricey, I would like oh, to go Oh, yeah, first. I was. Yeah, you were. Um, go ahead. Give me a pricey. This is in U.S. dollars. U.S. dollars. Okay. Um, did you get you get all 12 of these, right? All 12. Yeah, 12 okay. pieces set. You get the fast elf ball. Yeah, yeah you get all the <laughs> elf ball. The heavy elf ball. What a deal. Um... Nine ninety nine. Nine ninety nine. Uh, Rye. Um, a whole pack of twelve. 
Whole pack of 12. 1752. 1752. Chris. 1999. 1999. Aerosol? 1299. 1299. Actual resale price. Or re- retail price. Retail price. 1137. Gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh, that's two points to you. Uh, if you'd like to double your current score, you could tell me uh, the rating that this has been given uh, for, for mm-hmm. all 12 of these. So this is between four and five. Yes. So 4.7. 4.7. Okay. Rye. 4.2. 4.2. Chris. 3.8. 3.8. What? <laughs> Corey explained at the, at the top of the show that they were all four to five. Oh, yeah. I was not paying attention to that part. <laughs> all right, then I'll say 4.1. 4.1. Okay. Aerosol. Five stars. <laughs> Five stars. It's got to be. Uh, the actual rating for this item, 4.6 stars. You have to get it exactly and nobody I mean, got That it. was my so, second choice. Of course. Uh, so nobody's getting points here, so we will move on to this next item, which is Hasbro, the Avengers, oh eating food, fat, superhero, Captain America, Hulk, Darth Vader, action figure, toys, model, 10 centimeter. He eat all those characters? Is that why he's so bad? <laughs> super cute, fat, superhero, high, 10 centimeters. All right, I'm Heavy. just going to say it. Is this kind of racist? I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't approve of this. It, uh, um, it's not great. It's Heavy. got that feeling to it. <laughs> wow. Right? All right. This is the thing. It's not a... I'm really seeing all the Captain America and Darth Vader inspirations. Here. Yeah. Of course. Yeah, yeah, of yeah. Course. There, so for this listing, there was... Oh, wait. Is the another... chicken wing the lightsaber? <laughs> uh... <laughs> for this listing, there was another, like, Captain America, Darth Vader, but they, they put it all under one, so I selected the Hulk one. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, so there's like... racist Darth Vader as well. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> you can find out later. Uh, but what I want from you now oh, is a pricey. Josh, why don't you why don't you give me one of those? Um four ninety nine. Four ninety nine rye. How expensive is racism? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Just so ask nice. Spice. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, there it is. Uh, That's the sound two, of this guy. <laughs> two, uh, 268. 268. Chris? 317. 317. Aerosol? $7. $7. Actual retail price. Seventeen seventy-five aerosol. That's two points to you. That's Yikes. an expensive fat boy. Yeah, also, yeah. Pascal says I was expecting K holes. I don't know why, but <laughs> any reference to K holes is my favorite. <laughs> God damn it. Um hey you never aerosol. That one, dude. Aerosol, why don't you give me a, a rating for this item? Uh, 4.8. 4.8. Josh. 4.4. 4. 4.4. 4. 4. Rye? One of these is going to be 4.2. 4.2. 4. 2. Chris? $1. One. What? <laughs> you almost got me. I $1. almost wrote it down. <laughs> He's just like, right, yep, $1. <laughs> one dollar. Yeah. All right, I'm going to say 4.5. 4.5. All right. The rating is 
five. A uh, five out of five. For five this stars for this. Uh, I was. Five. I was going to do the joke and say all of them five, and I decided not to because I thought it would be obnoxious. <laughs> I like how he's so fat that like his gut is hanging over his pants. You barely even <laughs> see his pants. Um, well, all right. This we, is like uh... if Peter Griffin turned into the Hulk. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, let's take a look at this next item, which is... <laughs> Reed Jones has wrote in make this. <laughs> Uh, huge real Excuse life me. giraffe. <laughs> He's traveling with her about to fuck. <laughs> Cute stuffed animal <laughs> dolls, soft simulation giraffe. Oh, we know what they're simulating. <laughs> Birthday gift, kids toy, bedroom decor. Uh, mm, even with an Asento. Uh, one hundred percent high quality and brand new. Size one hundred and twenty centimeters. Material PP cotton. Mm, yeah, no. yeah, PP cool. cotton. I like yeah, dry I cotton. cotton. I don't want cotton to be soaked in urine. Mm -hmm. Thank you, though. <laughs> yeah, no, thank you on that one. I guess it's no, better than cotton. poop cotton, but still. <laughs> uh, so, Arisol, why don't you give me a pricey on these uh, on this giraffe friend? Do you get one giraffe or a pair of fucking giraffes? Giraffe. Okay. They they actually have multiple sizes. I went with the largest size that they had in stock. <laughs> yeah. Large. Oh, <laughs> Large. <laughs> they, they they max out at 140 centimeters, but this one is uh, the next best. What's 140 centimeters? 140 centimeters. Thanks, Josh. Yeah, yeah. 10 good boy points. Uh, 20 more than this one is. Yes. That's 55 inches. Man, my, my price just keeps fluctuating the more you guys talk. <laughs> yeah, uh, 120 centimeters is 47.2 inches. I'll just throw that out there. I'm going to I'm gonna say $40. Oh, I just $40? Okay. Josh. Hmm. 20. <laughs> Reed Jones says, what even is giraffe simulation? <laughs> <laughs> what is the one that's no, 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 no. This is a simulation giraffe. Right, right. Yeah. Yeah. Soft simulation. That's true, yes. Oh, he says, oh no, not pee, -pee Cotton. R. Kelly would be pleased. <laughs> oh. That's taller than Oh, no. That's oh, dear. Oh, oh dear. no. God, you said 20, right? 28. 28. Okay. Uh, Rye. Uh... There was a lot of measuring going on. <laughs> what what has been said? Twenty eight and, and twenty eight. Twenty and twenty eight. Forty and twenty eight. Forty and twenty eight. Um, yes. fifty two. Fifty two. Fifty two. That's a new one. Uh, Chris. Six bucks. Six bucks. <laughs> Actual retail. It's only a simulation. This after is all. six bucks. I'm gonna buy a draft. This right is an now. NFT. It's a simulation. <laughs> I love that's what you think NFTs are. <laughs> well, I mean, it's digital. It's not. It's not an actual. All right. Uh, actual retail price: thirty-four dollars. Uh, so, Josh, that's two points to you. Wow. Yeah. Uh, so you did end up doubling your score, but you like, get more points. My the original thought I had in my head was thirty dollars. But the more you guys went on and on about the size, the just the higher the price went. <laughs> then it's all oh, man, more out. numbers. Uh, so, what is the rating on this item? Do you think? Four point nine. Four point nine. Uh, Rye. Four point two. Four point two. Chris. Four point six. Four point six. Aerosol. 4.4. 4.4. The score is, or the rating is, 4.5. Nobody got it this time. Uh, that is unfortunate. But you can make back some points because we are now moving in to an Afanda Roko. This one comes from the Power Rider. And for us tonight, he has... Why is the hat so tiny? <laughs> Uh, Volk's Lost <laughs> Angels Maria Valentine oh, Fair. Wow. Unused, it's all there is in the image. I am missing hands. Package severely damaged. 
<laughs> but, so when, I, when this thing first popped up, I was just like, wow, she must be uncomfortable. And then I was like, oh, she doesn't even have hands. Yeah. <laughs> gotta be more uncomfortable. <laughs> the, the I am missing hands part sounds like someone stuck in a cry for help in the middle of this product description. <laughs> I'm fine. Help. I am missing hands. I don't know how I'm typing this. Wow! Uh, All right, I I picked a horrible time to take a drink. <laughs> Yikes! Uh, yep. Hey, uh, Josh. <laughs> Reed Jones says, "Ship in a jar, nah, body in a jar." <laughs> wow. Um. Eighteen hundred yen. <laughs> what I want to know is, it's unused. But then, how is the are the hands missing? Like, did, did you have to buy maybe, the hands maybe, separately? Maybe that's the gimmick, is they don't come with hands. Oh, all yeah. right. Uh, all right, Rye. Uh, the fuck is this? Uh, it's all it's all there is in the image. That's what it is. Why are her arms so long? Um, <laughs> well, it's because her hands are missing. Yeah, <laughs> it's compensation. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> I don't have hands, so I just got longer nubs. <laughs> I call them my love. She's just kneeing herself in the face. It looks <laughs> so uncomfortable. I'll call them my love nubs. Okay. <laughs> my love nubs. What? Sure. Uh, there's several things wrong. There's with me. no um, love with those nubs. Uh, Twenty two hundred. 2200 Chris. What are the guesses so far? 1800 and 2200. Uh, Vote high for 6, the 6000. 6. Hell yeah. Arizona. Yeah. Thousand actual resale price twenty five hundred. Rye, that's four points to you. Yay! So apparently, I suck ass at AliExpress, so I gotta make <laughs> my points here. Maybe you can buy some hands on AliExpress. Yeah, and maybe yeah, yeah. Put these two together. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but hey, there are more points to be had. Rye, why don't you tell me if this is sold out or not? No. No. All right. Uh, Chris. So the more I look at this, the more troubling it becomes. What <laughs> yeah. are yes. what are the two pieces like behind her ass? Indeed. What are the two pieces behind <laughs> her ass? <laughs> Truly, I have no idea. What is that? Are they little plug-in titties? Oh, I was hoping no, someone would maybe. say it, but I think that, I think that might be correct. <laughs> Because it looks like maybe there are hands back there, or that's a. Those aren't hands. Oh, oh, back there. Got it's it. like a skateboard, maybe. I don't know what the hell it is. <laughs> skateboard. Yeah. Well, it kind of looks like it has a little wheel on it or something. I don't know. I can't tell what it is. Magnify. Uh, all right. So is this sold out? Sure. 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 All right. Uh, aerosol. Hello? <laughs> is he, is he I think he's just fucking with you, but I can't tell. I can't I can't see. What's happening? He looks frozen. Hey! Oh, there I am. Whoa, hey, welcome back. <laughs> Everything just vanished for me. Oh, okay. <laughs> was, for us, you were just like stalwartly posing off to the side. <laughs> we, and you just didn't move. We couldn't figure out if you were fucking with Corey or not. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, what what am I, I doing? You're having a Josh Is it sold out or not? <laughs> no. Uh, yeah, someone probably bought this. Oh yeah, of course, of course, Josh. Just so they could plug those titties in. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, someone had to buy the skateboard, right? Of course, yeah. Of yeah, course. of course. <laughs> the, skateboard. the skateboard is a huge selling point. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, of course. Tony um, Hawk's plug titties. That's what everyone knows. <laughs> <laughs> is this sold out? Yeah, fuck it absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Of course it is. Uh, everybody but Rye is getting two points here. Um, Corey was not happy that it's just sold out. 
<laughs> Shame on me for having a minute amount of faith in humanity. Yeah, yeah. Um, hey, Rai, how did how did Power Rider get here? What were the search terms slash terms? Used? Real quick, Reed Jones says tit articulation question mark, and I would say articulation. <laughs> articulation. <All right>, <laughs> you know it. Yeah, that's it. Any good set does. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Any good set does. Why? Why don't you? What is? The, how did they get here? Give me a minute. <laughs> yeah. Corey's uh, like, I am losing control. <laughs> 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 the whole thing. Uh, I tapped into like a different plane today. What's um, the? What are you offering? What's the yeah. difficulty? Oh, you're yeah, right. Yeah, I need. Yeah. A, I need a gauge. You're right. Um. That's the thing. I don't. Uh... It's your game, bud. Let's try five. Five, five sounds good. Right. Um. No, you know what? Seven. So seven. Okay, that's a huge difference. Yeah. Um. If it had hands, ten. <laughs> <laughs> God, I got an answer tonight. I got, I got <laughs> nothing. I got nothing for this. Um, you know, body bag. <laughs> body bag. I got nothing. I have no fucking idea. Angel. Angel. Aerosol. I am missing hands. <laughs> I am missing hands. Josh. Fair. Fair. The actual search term was, and or search terms. There I am. There I am. Uh, there I am in that glass heart. There I am, <laughs> body bag. It's almost the same thing. Yeah, yeah. There yeah. I am. Uh, I think it's Closer to the I am missing, and then there's it's all there. Yeah, so I like get that. Technically, all of the the words were in there, and like it was kind of a reference, so I didn't bump it all the way up to like nine. But, yeah. Uh, yeah. All right. So nobody got the points here, uh, but I can tell you how many points everybody has. Uh, I have zero points. No, Chris, you have two points. What? I'm taking back out. one zero. You got to out. <laughs> uh, and then we have Ryan Aerosol with four points each, and Josh in the lead with six points. Not the uh, Really? The scores happening? are rather close, though, so it is anybody's game. And I'm barely here. I'm about to fall asleep here. So. Good thing you're drinking all that water to keep you yeah. up. It's not water. Uh, oh, vodka. <laughs> <laughs> it's the pink <laughs> cotton. Uh, it's it's apple snapple. <laughs> Another huge caffeine source. <laughs> uh, Does that have caffeine in it? Probably not. It's tea, right? Snapple <laughs> tea. <laughs> Something about apple snapple just killed yeah, me. Apple snapple. <laughs> I understand, I understand it's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> but I've just I've never heard Apple Snapple together. <laughs> it's like, it's so funny as shit. It seems like it should be part of a song. Yeah. Apple yeah. Snapple. Yeah. Like, you know, he should be snapping his fingers like, like it's like something the Wuzzles put out or something. <laughs> Wiggles, whatever they're called. Wuzzles was an eighties cartoon. Wuzzles was an eighties eighties cartoon. I was thinking of the Wiggles. <laughs> Um, you know, I'm thinking of. I'm Let's thinking get on of to the next one. Oh, ye BMB. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 18 centimeter transformation Hot toys, boy, alloy edition anime KO action figure car tank model kit. Car tank. H602 oh 9 8. Six zero zero one dash four SS three eight. There is not one deformation toys, is all metal on the market, only part of the alloy, the center of gravity stable, <laughs> more flexible deformation. 
<laughs> Our robot has passed CCC certification, China compulsory certification. They have to. They have to certify how knockoff it is. So yeah, say, what is that process? Height, robot height eighteen to twenty one centimeter. Each robot all have a detailed size chart. Oh, Material <laughs> high chart. quality ABS plus alloy. Amps. Lower prices, the same high quality, all have in stock <laughs> now. <laughs> Perfect. Yes. So, I just think this is such a smart mashup because there's so many cops driving VW Beetles around. Yeah, I've <laughs> yeah. seen them all over the I place. See it a lot. I feel um, like the police force would be better suited if they all drove VW Beetles. Absolutely, <laughs> yes. Uh, so, right. But not even the newer ones, the 80s. Yeah, ones. old ones. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, Junkyard yeah, quality Beatles. What? You got a pricey for me? No. <laughs> no? <laughs> um, so this is... I'm trying to figure out if this is a KO of... This is a KO of the Studio Series toy? I think. Not that that really helps my situation any. Yeah. But, uh, okay, so I think this is a KO of... The studio series toy, but all right. Um, it's probably oversized. How much is it? Eight twenty-one centimeters. So it's twenty-one centimeters. It's like seven inches. Okay, so it's upscaled. Uh, fuck, I don't know how much these run. Uh, let's go with uh twenty-six forty-two. Twenty-six forty-two. Always sneaking a forty-two in there, Chris. The answer to life, or whatever the joke is. Of course. Mm. I'm gonna say fourteen ninety five. Fourteen ninety five. Aerosol. Twenty dollars. Twenty dollars. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> uh. Fourteen ninety five. Seven dollars. Seven. Dollars, actual retail price seventeen eighty nine. Chris, that's two points to you. Holy shit, what happened? Yeah, uh, you're tied with everyone except Josh, who's in the lead. <laughs> what the fuck is going yeah. on? Wild. I, uh, I asked myself the same question. How am I tied with everyone? I'm doing the worst. Um, everyone's doing equally bad. Uh, why don't you give me a rating for this item? Oh, this is a five star all oh, the this way. Is a five star all the way. Yeah. Aerosol? Um, four. <laughs> four. Okay. Four. <laughs> He's playing golf. Don't mind him. Yeah. <laughs> four. Uh, uh, four point eight. Four. Four, <laughs> four point right. nine. 4.9. I swear to God, this one's going to be 4.2, isn't it? Yeah. This is 4.7. Oh, no damn, one I went the wrong direction. Uh, but hey, we still have more to go. Let's take a look at this next item, which is children's toy. Yeah. Former robot shark ocean anime figurine hobby constructor. That's a dolphin. That is a dolphin. Action, <laughs> action figure <laughs> toys for children. Oyunka. 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 Children's toy transformer robot shark ocean anime figurine gift. That for is Christmas. a dolphin. Gift, gift for Christmas. Gift for Christmas. Uh, I just. So. I kind of love him. <laughs> <laughs> they have do they have a lot of like cheapy kind of like uh transformers like this on Amazon. I saw a panda the other day. It was it's only like 10 bucks. I kind of want it. Hey, but you yeah. might be able to find no. it for less on AliExpress. Uh, the dolphin face is just so it's I want to know like so the pink on the legs. Is yeah. that like peeling back part of the dolphin's flesh? <laughs> like what yeah, is like, that? Where is I don't know from? where that's located on. Yeah, it. where is that coming from? I couldn't tell you. Uh but what I can tell you is that no. I would like a pricey from Chris. Seven dollars. Seven dollars. Aerosol. Five dollars. Five dollars, Josh. Six dollars. Six dollars, Rock. <laughs> so we have five, six, seven. 
Eight. Eight. Uh, I need an air set. Shit! Oh my god. We're all over? Yeah, yeah. Um, I need you all to guess less than five dollars. Chris, we're starting with you. Well, that is cheaper on this website. Yeah. Too bad the shipping's probably like 60 bucks. Um, three dollars. Three dollars. Aerosol. <laughs> Three ninety nine. Three ninety nine. Josh. Two dollars. Two dollars. Rye. Uh, four twenty five. Four twenty five. Actual retail price. Three. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so Chris, that's another two points to you. What? Yeah, uh, Reed Jones says if they replaced the Mosasaurus Rex Megazord with this, I wouldn't be mad. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Hey, Chris. Ocean history and it's fine. (laughs) 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 Yeah, this is actually just Comer to Durandal's mecha. That's right, yeah. Chris Still doesn't come with the triad. I'm going to say. This is 4.6. 4.6. Aerosol. 4.2. 4.2. Josh. 4.3. 4.3. Rye. 4.8. 4.8. Okay, so uh, I will say, before I reveal this, and I don't know the number, but I am upping the... Uh, <laughs> the point total for ratings because nobody is getting it and it'll make it extra extra good if you guys land on it. So I'm upping it to four points uh, if you get the rating. That's too much, but okay. <laughs> like nobody's gotten them. These are yeah, that, that, I mean, that's good. aggressive though. I would say two. But... <laughs> All right. Well, it is still... T- uh, I'll put nobody's it getting it, so it could be a million points. It doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> All right, fine. Three points. We'll what is the rating on this one? Four okay, points. There we go. Nobody got it. Uh, we move on to the final thing. Uh, and basically the reason I wanted to do this AliExpress thing to begin with. Oh, no. Uh, this next item is Yoda Tobacco Smoke Pipe Bomb <laughs> Star Wars Pipe Aluminum Cigar Pipe Heat Resistant Cigarette Pipe Smoke. Oh my god. <laughs> my god. Have you ever wanted to get baked with Baby Yoda? <laughs> wow. Oh god. Um, All right. Size, then. size 120 millimeters oh, or 4.7 inches. Material silicone and glass product material food grade silica gel. That is incredible. This is why. Oh, good. Uh, it's food grade. So food yeah, grade. food grade. You can eat this. Yeah. Um, wow. Yeah. No, you right. can eat the, the <laughs> you gel. Can eat you all. can't eat. Baby <laughs> <laughs> um. Hey, Chris. John, getting high. You will. <laughs> <laughs> Chris, why don't you? Uh, why don't you give me pricey here? I don't know. Um, not, you're like not how, how much is getting baked off? with Baby Yoda worth to you? Yeah, <laughs> nothing really. <laughs> um, why does this exist? Whoever just was like, you know what, I want to do pack something into the back of Baby Yoda's head. <laughs> I'm gonna say eight dollars. Eight dollars. All right, aerosol. I have a question. Yeah, I, um, because I don't, I don't. We all have really questions. Use, uh, <laughs> pipes. Yes. At which end do you? <laughs> I was thinking. So I would assume you put whatever you're putting in this in the back of his head. But again, one end would have to go in your mouth, and <laughs> the <putting laughs> holes on the top doesn't make sense for that. I so, think you. Uh, I think you have to suck off Baby Yoda's feet. <laughs> sure, his feet. Yes. That's what. That's what's back there. It's not his that's, asshole. That's what that is. <laughs> yeah. It's uh, not. Wow. Well, okay. I didn't want to it's insinuate that you have to suck Baby Yoda's it. asshole. I just, yeah. it's not. <laughs> <laughs> uh, someone, 
Someone needs to buy this and do a product review on this. Um, How rich did you get a butt plug without a head plug? Excuse me? $15. $15. $15. I'm, I'm wondering if the, the, the oh hole my, in the bottom I part, really because can. you can see it comes with a plug piece, so I'm wondering if that's like just to clean it or something. I don't know. Maybe it's like an access hatch. <laughs> if you want to tickle his asshole, you have a hatch. Is there a baby Yoda butt plug? <laughs> in this picture doubles. there is. This doubles as one. It, it uh, kind of does. It kind of does. Josh. Uh, Mm-hmm. I have no idea what prices have been said. Uh, eight and fifteen. Um. Okay. Twelve. Twelve. Rye. Uh. Eleven dollars. Eleven dollars. <laughs> and we get an error sound. No. Wow. Yeah. Oh, wow. Maybe it is cheap. That's right. Uh, we got a guess lower than eight dollars. Uh, Chris, start us off again. Six dollars. Six dollars aerosol. Uh, that's the four. Four. You don't. You don't blow into it. <laughs> <laughs> I know that much. <laughs> Josh. Five. Five. Rye? Seven. Seven. Actual retail price for the Baby Yoda bong. <laughs> it's not a bong. So, oh, well, you know. 7.74 7. Uh, rye. That's four. Uh, of all points. items to get right, I'm glad it's this one. That's right. Um, But hey, you can get some more points. Or maybe not, honestly. Uh, if you can... <laughs> You can tell me what this is rated. This is a fucking five. This is a five. Yes, absolutely. Chris? If it's not, they're fucking <laughs> lying to you. They're lying to you. <laughs> Also, Aerosol, I like what you wrote in the chat. I was going to make the same joke. Yeah, that's good. Um, I'm going to say 4.2. 4.2. Aerosol? Um... 4.6. If this one's 4.2, I swear to God. Josh? 4.9. 4. 4.9. The actual rating was 4.8. Uh, Nobody got the points here. Um, so, as we move into our final of Roko, I will read off the points. Aerosol, 4 points. Everybody else, 6 points. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, it's only a two point discrepancy, and there are about, I don't know, like, there's a lot of points on the table still. We can still pull this together. Uh, with this final of Fandoroko coming from uh, Pascal Wheel Shack Insurance, who has for us Kabaya Joe C. Double Dispenser Beard, made out of only, has damage. Hmm. Uh, so Rye, why don't you get yes. Um, <laughs> God, it looks like shit. So you want to say like six hundred, but then you think it like it could be vintage, and it's like worth six hundred dollars. <laughs> um, you said six hundred twice. Oh well, yeah, I said six hundred. <laughs> Fuck you. 3,200. 3,200, Chris. 10,000. 10,000. American dollars. (laughs) (laughs) Was not going to go that aggressive. Um, You know what? I will say 600. 600. All right. Josh? 1,800. 1800 actual resale price 2000 Damn yen. It. Josh, that's four more points for you. Mm. Look how enthused he is. Damn <laughs> it. Hold him back. I'm so tired. Uh, why don't you tell me if this is sold out? Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, all right. Uh, Rye. Hold on. I didn't watch Trigger yet. I just saw Chris's tweet on Twitter. <laughs> 
<laughs> You'll have to go look at it. It's a line from the show. Fuck. Okay. What's happening? Uh, uh, sold out? Is this sold out? Uh, no. No. Chris? Yes. Yes. Uh, aerosol? No. No. Is this sold out? Yes, it absolutely yeah. is. Chris and Josh, uh, two points each. All right. Um, so we move on to uh, final segment here. What would search terms used? I will give you one point for this item. Josh, start us off. Um, double. Double. Like a W or double? Oh, I see. <laughs> All right. Uh, Rye. Beard. Beard. Uh, Chris. Double. Double. Aerosol. Um, dispenser. Uh, dispenser. Actual search term was beard. Yeah, right, you got one more point. <laughs> Whoa, one point. Whoa. All right. So let us tally up the final scores for the game. Before uh, that, I have a very important announcement. Yes. <laughs> it's filed and I found a clock. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right. Uh, let's see. So the final scores are Aerosol with four points, Rye with six points, Chris with nine points, and Josh with 12 points. Ooh. Congratulations. You win. Mm. Woo. All right. God, I don't like honestly, I'm very tired as well. I am so exhausted. We're never gonna talk about Loki. We're never talking it about it. It was a good show. It's great. Yeah. It was a good show. Like, Hi, it was a very good show. Bye everyone. <laughs> <laughs> no, did I mean, are we all tired enough to where we don't want to cover it? I'm not tired. Yeah, I'm not either. Okay. All right, we can cover it. All right. Uh, we can kick Corey and Josh out and just <laughs> I'm good with that. Yeah, I'm going to bed. <laughs> I'm not that tired. I'll stick around. Bye, Bye Josh. Gonna... Oh wow. Oh he All threw right. the he threw out a balance. <laughs> balance um... of course. Oh, no, yeah. no got... at this point I feel a... like it's been so long okay. I don't remember so... everything. Well, but I we I have... do remember kind of being underwhelmed by the ending. Like they hyped really? up the final episode so much, and then I was just kind of like, just sitting in a room talking with this dude for a while. And I mean, the whole thing, like, like, and again, spoilers if you haven't seen it yet. But all the things splintering off, like that was cool because obviously that's leading to things. Yeah. But then like he comes back and he's just like, oh, the statue's different. I must be somewhere different. And then it's just over. And I was like, I mean, I'm not well, mad at anything. I just well, I thought. It was going to be a lot more grandiose. Introducing Kang is kind of a big deal. Yeah, the, the statue, oh, that guy's supposed to be Kang? That, that guy's yeah. Kang. Yeah. Oh, yes. I did not get that. <laughs> that. That's the guy who's playing Kang in Ant-Man. Did he introduce yeah. himself as Kang? No. No, because okay. he's, yeah. this, he's this a is Kang a, variant. This is a variant of Kang. Yeah. And now this how, okay, guy so explain to me. How was I supposed to know that? He he called himself a conqueror at one point. It uh, like two, it's the same guy that's playing Kang. In yeah, Africa. I was gonna say if you didn't know that the actor, like if you knew yeah, that the know. actor was, then like there's yeah, that. Yeah. Other than that, he alert. has like some of the same backstory elements as Kang, and so there's like hints there. But I like I've also seen other people. To like uh, say the same thing as you, Chris, who didn't know that it was Kang going in. Yeah, I mean that makes um, it a lot more exciting. I agree. I, I admit that makes a lot more sense. But yeah, because I'm just like we're just sitting in a room with this dude. I'm like, am I supposed to know who this dude is? Like, I didn't know who the hell like, he was. He who remains was a completely different character in the comics. He wasn't a variant of Kang at all. Yeah. So, but it's I, really I understand awful. that. But they, from from what I read in an interview, they uh they brought him on 
to be He Who Remains, and they liked like his general vibe. And then when they decided that they were bringing in Kang because of this, they said, do you want to be Kang? And when he agreed to be Kang, they're like, okay, we'll make he who remains a variant of Kang. Oh. That's what the, uh, because yeah, because originally producer? like with COVID and everything, this would have fallen a lot later in the release schedule. Right. Like Loki was supposed to be further down the line. I don't remember. Everything got switched around. So I thought I read that movie. somewhere that they had to pivot a little bit and shift some things around because COVID mm-hmm. delayed all the movies, but I guess the show still happens or maybe they were filmed. I don't know. But okay, yeah, because that makes a lot more sense and I can understand why people are excited more now because I was like, I just didn't get it. I was like, who is this dude? Like, obviously he'll come back at some point, but yeah, that's a boat trigger deal. Yeah. yeah. And it is, it is an interesting idea of like, kind of setting up a big villain for later in the movies um, by establishing this idea of variance and how this is him, but it's not mm-hmm. him kind of deal. Because mm-hmm. like now clearly we're in a situation where the the multiversal war happens mm-hmm. to an extent, but the Kang that came out on top was not our friendly little peacekeeping Kang. It was evidently the <laughs> Conqueror Kang. Uh, I don't even know that much about Kang. Like, what's his deal in the comics? He time he travels everywhere and fucks shit up. Yeah, no, he's, he's, a human. he's a human from the 31st century who oh, time travels. The future. Okay. Yeah, it's like a lot of the elements a, that they gave for his backstory. He's related to Reed Richards. His... Oh, really? uh, Oh, like yeah, a descendant? Um, uh, I think it's... Is it Daniel? No, Nathaniel. Nathaniel, sorry. Yeah, Nathaniel Richards is who he is. Oh, oh he's wow. their kid? Um, no, he's a... No, wait. It's the pretty first I was going to say. He's... That's what I was going to say. But isn't there... What is their son's name? Like, Reed and... Franklin? Son. Franklin, that's what it is. Okay. Oh, you know what I'm thinking of? Cable's name is Nate. I think. Okay. And Cable is Cyclops and Jean Grey's son from the future. Right. I'm confusing things because I don't Lots dabble in all this. That, yes, I don't dabble in all this that much. So from what I can remember, I don't I'm dabble myself. in future babies. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't dabble in many babies at all. I don't dabble in any babies. No. Yeah. The uh... any way you want to take that, I don't. <laughs> Except for the Yoda variety. The no. one thing that I uh, will say is, like. Going to this, I wasn't super excited. Um, it won me over very quickly. Mm-hmm. And I also realized that um, a lot of my enjoyment comes to the fact that I just like listening to Tom Hiddleston talk. <laughs> uh, his voice is very soothing and I love it. <laughs> um, I'll agree when I heard about it. I I wasn't like, ah, do we need a I, TV show? When, okay. Because like when, when it happened in Endgame, I'm like, okay, so that's setting up the Loki show. Mm-hmm. I went in initially, because I didn't read a whole lot about it at first. I don't know when more story elements started leaking and stuff. But uh, initially when it was announced, I was leaning into like, oh, this is going to be like funny time shit. And I wasn't expecting as as big of an emotional story as it ended up being. And so I, I loved it for that just because like that's the kind of writing that gets me. Uh, and Sylvie is wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> Sylvie's like, pretty great, yeah. I, I'm really happy with the way they portrayed time travel because like there are a lot of time, and I know they got it right-ish relatively with, uh, with Endgame before, but like, I don't know. When, whenever they, they really nail time travel, I think is pretty commendable just because that's a tough thing to do. Um, and I was, I followed it throughout. It was really easy to understand like, you know, certain consequences and how far variant timelines can get and like why maybe Endgame may or may not have had a multiverse at that point. It could have maybe not at some other point. So I think that's neat. Well, Endgame definitely created multiverse. <laughs> Yeah. But then they were fixed, so. Yeah. Well, because then, like, 
they they were talking about early on that like that was supposed to happen like maybe he was supposed to go around like everybody was supposed to go around fix things and then cap actually went back and like clipped the branches and basically yeah did what he was supposed to do so mm-hmm. Hopefully that actually worked out, but I don't know. it made sense in my head. Yeah. Um, something I really like about the the final episode and the choice that they they were given is how it tied back into one of the earliest conversations that Loki had with Mobius. Mm. Um, and like it. It was just a one-off line that he said in the second episode about how, uh, you know, nobody good's ever really good, nobody bad's ever really bad, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and then we get we get to episode six, and the choice that we're given is, like, really not very cut and dry. Because <laughs> it's like, well, the, this choice is going to, to ruin a lot of people's lives, like Sylvie, <laughs> but is going to keep this like monster at bay and this choice is going to give people free will but is going to unleash this horrible person and what i thought was fun is like seeing like a lot of different people watch this episode and genuinely be split on the decision Mm -hmm. of some Mm -hmm. people were cited one way other people cited the other way it's like yeah yeah i get why people would struggle with that decision <laughs> like um that was that. kind of a nice like morally gray choice yeah and like it could have also just been a lie so like you you also have to throw that into the ring and that really mucked things up too and i like that as well um ultimately uh you know leading into a season two I'm I'm much more excited. I'm kind of upset that Owen Wilson didn't get a jet ski at the end. You know that's right. <laughs> I was. <laughs> Reed Jones says, "Where's the Marvel Legends Mobius with jet ski?" That's true. <laughs> Someday. Uh, but on the subject of Mobius, he can't get his jet ski because they gotta do season two. He's gotta have something to fight for. That's true. Yeah. But I I really liked him throughout this because he. I feel it, like it, it's so funny because like Owen Wilson's just like that guy. He's the wild guy. <laughs> he's and like, is he's supposed to feel like the everyman, but he's the one giving the exposition and like we're viewing it through Loki's eyes. I don't know. It's it was a uh it was strange. But I really I, liked it. I, I yeah. liked his character a lot and moderate Owen Wilson bias, I suppose. <laughs> but, uh I thought it was I thought it was really enjoyable. Yeah. Um, like the like all the main characters are really good. The fucking Loki variants at the end of time or whatever, the yeah. wasteland. Yeah, they were really fun. And the guy who played like comics Loki, he was great. Like mm-hmm. he really sold yeah. it. He did a good yeah, job. He, he's a, a tricky, right? Yeah, he's an amazing actor to begin with. And like I, I love his final scene. Mm-hmm. I, oh, I yeah. rewatched that final scene of him <laughs> rising Asgard out of yeah. <laughs> out of nothing and yeah, that was a good story. I I like his story is like his backstory too. That he's basically like our Loki, except he survived mm. Thanos and just slipped away to <laughs> to peacefully live until he got super fucking lonely, and then he got kidnapped. <laughs> uh, I also really like the you know um, it, it it makes so much sense that. The you know the way the timeline was created, a lot of the variant Loki's would be these very terrible, despicable ones, and the ones that are surviving are the ones that are like not not your typical Loki's, and them having come together, I thought that was a really very natural like progression for them. What was the was the Loki with the like the vote badge? Was that a reference to something? Did he run for office in one of the comics or something? I'm sure it happened. Uh, yeah, I'm sure that was like a comic yeah. book reference. But I know that Loki apparently was like, he won the Battle of New York. And yeah, 
Oh, okay. that, that makes sense. And then but he, he got clipped because obviously that wasn't supposed to happen. So. <laughs> um. Yeah. Oh, also, can uh, can we give some props to Alligator Loki? <laughs> <laughs> Everything about that that episode with with Alligator Loki's debut and like just the Thanos copter hanging out back there. Yeah. <laughs> I missed that until you posted it, and I was like, oh, sweet. <laughs> Yeah, there they was had, there um, was a ton of little references in the yeah, the yeah they had frog Thor. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It it was hilarious because I felt like it was something important, um, but I kept trying to pause it, and every time it would get to there, I would either miss the pause and it would zoom past, <laughs> or I would hit the pause and it would be too blurry for me to figure out what was happening. <laughs> I'm like, what is this? And then finally, someone was like, "Oh, it's it's frog." Uh, Thor. I'm like, oh, okay. That makes sense. <laughs> yeah, I tried. So this is the first one that is confirmed for a season two. Yeah. It's the only one that's getting a season two. Yeah, the oh, other okay. ones are not. Because well, Captain or uh, Falcon and Winter Soldier is going into next Captain America. And yeah. WandaVision just is doing its thing that Doctor yeah. Strange is WandaVision Strange. doesn't seem like something that would no, we have a season two There's anyway. Season two. Um, <laughs> so yeah, we're just I, if they if they did give her a second show, it'd probably be called Scarlet Witch. That's fair. But yeah. um, yeah, that's that's it would be a completely be different premise, <laughs> multiverse of madness stuff for her, and then yeah, Captain and Winter Soldier probably just movies now. Yeah. yeah. Like I definitely think they could get another show, but they just want they want to do movies. So yeah, but it, it is well, nice with, having yeah. a prolonged, like, character driven look at these these guys because we don't always get too much time with them in the movies. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, I felt that way definitely about um, Falcon Winter Soldier because it was. Um, it really made me enjoy those characters a bit more than I, mm -hmm. I did. Um, and to an extent, I felt that way about Loki as well. Obviously, there's a lot of new characters with, that came with Loki. Yeah. So, and even this Loki is sort of new-ish. I mean, yeah. he's, he's not the same one that we had through the majority of the movies. Yeah, least. he he developed into a very similar Loki, but this is still like the way he got there. And I'm sure just the way he feels, given the fact he didn't experience the things that our Loki did, he just witnessed them. And so he went through a whole experience of not particularly like getting closer with Thor and going through everything like with Ragnarok and stuff. But, um, instead just going through and developing like these feelings with Sylvie instead. It's so, like, he kind of got to the same place sort of, but it was a completely different path that ultimately would have led to the way he feels being different, I guess. I, I do wonder if Sylvie is like the original ish Loki, or at least like further along in in his timeline, because they said there were no other female Lokis. Maybe she was like the first and the last that created a variant. I don't know. Well, all of that was kind of manipulated, right? Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. So maybe he got it on one go. Or maybe the others were just completely evaporated. Yeah, I don't know. Um, but, um, but I mean, she got away when she was a kid, so True. I don't know. Maybe, maybe that was just part of the plan. That part like went smooth, and the other Lokis were a little bit of a handful. <laughs> it's it's really interesting that like we get to explore like philosophical topics, like with uh, 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 WandaVision. It was. Uh, Theseus's ship and what's actually what's actually the original thing still. And then this one yeah. it's like uh, hard determinism versus uh, you know free will and all that stuff and it was 
I don't know. It was fun. It was interesting. And I can't believe we got to do that with a Marvel project. Yeah, oh. there's... Go ahead. I was going to say, there's definitely some, like, religious or cultish allusions <laughs> to <laughs> with the TVA. It's uh -huh. <laughs> with them sort of implicitly believing these things that yeah. don't seem right. <laughs> <laughs> Like all, all three of these shows dealt with really heavy topics, I guess, uh, in their own way. And uh, I, I think that was one of the more interesting aspects about them. Because, like, when, I mean, when you look at like a traditional Marvel movie, it's like, yeah, there's themes and morals mm -hmm. and stuff like that. But the the centerpiece of all three shows so far were were really emotional topics or yeah. really heated topics. Um, Cause like we, we found out that Loki didn't even want to be the way that he is. He just yeah. was made this way, engineered to be the villain. The, the, the I think it was the end of episode one, yeah. that monologue he had yeah. um, in that episode was stellar. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then in episode five, the other Lokis even say, like, anytime they they even attempt to be a different or better mm -hmm. person, mm -hmm. they're just taken. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right. Did we have anything else on Loki? I don't know. I'm sure there there's more I could yeah. say, but like, yeah, it's good. It, yeah. it was a good time. Um, it it is obviously because it has a season two, and they knew that going in, mm -hmm. or at least they knew that going into the last episode. Um, it doesn't have as conclusive an, of an ending mm -hmm. as the mm -hmm. others, just by design. Yeah, so I like that does kind of feel like okay i i don't feel as fulfilled coming out of loki as i did with wandavision or captain and the wear soldier yeah but um but i i do still enjoy like i enjoyed a lot of what they did i love the aesthetic of the tva mm -hmm. yeah um <laughs> that that stuff was it has that sort of like bureaucratic, but also kind of creepy SPC <laughs> vibe or mm -hmm. SCP. SCP. I can't yeah. remember. Yeah. yeah. All right. Anybody Good else? Shit. Yeah. Good show. Um, okay. I guess show over now. <laughs> Outro stuff. Show over now. Uh, do. <laughs> Go to our Twitters, because we have those. Go to, I mean, uh, the one that uh, uh, left us recently, Josh. He has a lightning collection. <laughs> the one that left us. He's, he's not <laughs> dead. Oh, okay. <laughs> so here it goes. We got Twitter handles for all of us on our Geek Each Week Twitter. Corey, run, Corey <laughs> runs Soto Pop. Um, probably something else, but I don't really give a shit. Uh, <laughs> Josh has light, uh, lightning storm. Something storm. Oh, storm. storm. It, it's a lightning on, storm. On okay. Topic. Chris has a channel. Rye has a channel. Um, we have a Discord. Uh, oh, yeah. All we... six people in the chat already know all of this. <laughs> Twenty-eight, Chris. Oh wow! All right, yeah, proceed, yeah. proceed. Yeah, we are bopping. <laughs> anyway, we have a Discord. You're all welcome. Yeah, be good. Be, good. <laughs> be nice. Don't be racist, please. Yeah. All right, Chris. Why don't you? Why don't you take us off? Just signature sign off. Get the fuck out.